Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with some space exploration. And I was spamming steel pipes because... Other than it's good to just have them, I'm not sure, actually. Uh, so let's figure out where we're at. Um, I do recall we've got quite a lot of territory we've claimed, but we need to push the biters even further back um, to be really secure, I think. Well, we don't really need to kill the um, regenerative biters so much. Although it's probably good for UPS, not that that matters just yet. Um, but common biters, fast biters, uh, spawner biters, the purple ones, they're much better at actually attacking the base. Nightfire, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I want to go to Hagen and set up a new base here. Um, but... I, I don't want to abandon Nalvis or anything. So I want to be a little bit careful about just how strong our defenses are before we go. And once we get to Hagen, we'll have the Cryonite, we'll have the utility science packs. And, well, not once we get to Hagen, but after that. And then we can finally get certain quality of life things that we should already have. And then we can start building our base in orbit in earnest. Um, I think I will... There's probably somewhere I could find in another solar system that would be better. Uh, like, even better than this. But I'm not... I don't think I'm going to make, like, another main base later on. So I think what we're going to do is set up so that Hagen is going to be our main base. Um, so I want almost all of our processing on Hagen, space elevator, very, very short trip for spaceships from Hagen to uh, Foenestra, and from Foenestra to wherever. Um, it is going to make it a bit harder, a bit slower to get everything going early on, but I think it'll be worth it. But I really don't remember why I was spamming so many underground pipes. Will you build your space station on Hagen Orbit? Yes. Yes, I will. Um... We might still have a bit of, like, thrown together stuff in Nalvis Orbit in the meantime. Like we're doing with uh, regular space science. But I think once we're at... Once we're doing the utility science, um, I want it to be the permanent base there. Talem Grandmaster, Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So what should I be doing right now? Um, we've got a few things in our, uh, in our rail blocks. We've got copper, iron, gears, uh, multi-cylinder, that implies single cylinder. Uh, I should probably add some stone to it. The thing that I'm not sure about is just how far to go into... Like, I want to use Nalvis to build Hagen, if that makes sense. So, how far do we scale up before we sort of try to move on? Um, especially since we don't have the logistic box putting... Logistic box? Well, that's true. But I meant logistic bots. Um, I guess technically we don't have logistic box is kind of more accurate. Because it's these three boxes that are the problem. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I was trying to put together the stuff we're going to take to Hagen for an outpost. 
Um, so we've got quite a few cargo, packed cargo rocket sections. We've got lots of blue belt. Um, we're getting underground pipe together over here. What did I set the limits to? Like 1,000? That seems good, actually. We'll wait for this to get to a thousand um, for the steel underground pipes. Um, we should probably take inserters. I want like at least two stacks of all the inserter types. Probably more for a couple of the more common ones. What do you need for space rail? Uh, space rail is energy one and also utility science pack. So it's pr it's more or less the same as it was before, except we're having to do the utility science packs and production science packs before we can make any real progress. Space train battery pack charging station. Oh, we get the space locomotives when we get space rail. That's nice. Um, how much do we need? Only 50. So I definitely want to, like, put some kind of tiny spaghetti mess together to get our first 50, um, energy science packs. I'll just check it doesn't have some more prereqs. It does. Uh, let's see. It's literally just... It's literally just Holmium Cable. So 60, uh, sorry, 10, actually. That's tiny. Yeah, so 60 uh, energy science packs in total will give us space rail. So I'll put together some kind of tiny build like this so that we can then build out our rail blocks properly to begin with. Why is this so slow? Probably because we haven't sped this up. Where's our fast inserters? Here they are. So we, we are bottlenecked on the regular inserters. Let's put them in here. Why don't I just take everything we've got for the moment and shove most of it into the rocket. And I'll trim it to stack sizes. So we have... 150, 150, 150, 150, 100 filters is probably plenty. We're a bit short on fast inserters. Okay. Did you know the repair tower mod bots dump on that task? Wait, what? Just curious, are you going to finish the breach rub on stream. Breach run? Oh, uh, I don't think so. It was fun streaming into the breach, but like, it's the smallest stream I've had in quite a while, and there was literally no one else playing it when I looked to raid. So, um, uh, I, I don't pick what I'm gonna play on stream just on numbers, but that might be a little bit much. It's also like, most of chat doesn't know the game, so there's not much, uh, there's not a whole lot of engagement, relatively. Uh, like, in Factorio, we'll sort of stop, so, sort of stop actually playing the game sometimes, just to chat for a while, uh, and that's cool. Um, but I think most people have no idea, or not much idea, what's going on with Into the Breach. So yeah, I don't think I'll be continuing it on stream, unfortunately. Oh, that does remind me, I should, uh... 
I should change the point rewards for today. I do wish I could automate this to be different based on the game. I'm sure there's a way. I am the sky. Thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. I enjoyed it. I was lurking though. Fair enough. Uh, I'm glad people enjoyed it. I, I did have fun with it, but um, I don't think I'll continue with it just for those reasons. Uh, let's see. A few of rewards, channel points, name and base, name a pilot, name a mech, get out of here. And I think that's everything. All right, cool. I didn't enjoy watching the VOD today from what I missed, but I understand you're not, uh, it not fitting your ideal stream. Yeah. It's just a little bit too small, too quiet. But I love the game, and I, I didn't mind streaming it or anything. Um, what should we build next in the rail blocks? I want to get that stone mine done. Let's do that, and I won't have to think too hard about it until my brain is finished booting up for today. Uh, might need a bit more rail. We got drills. We got stations. Did I... How many trains did I make? Not enough, I think. Let's grab some locomotives. Um, where would they be exactly? I don't see them in here. Locomotive. We've got ten. And we've got ten cargo wagons. Oh, there's two in here of each. Why is that? Alright, let's just request them, I suppose. Uh, locomotive? Don't request the cheat ones that don't exist. And cargo wagon. Fantastic. It's a very small thing, but the only thing I don't like about the uh, auto trash mod is how you can't just use this UI because it'll just get instantly overwritten. Uh, where are my trains? Oh, they're on the way. Where are they stored? They should be here-ish. There we go. Why do I have eight locomotives? Logistic storage, negative three. Oh, we're making some more right now, actually. Here they are. Why, did, why didn't the bots bring them to me? It's right here. Alright, let's go build that mine. And think a little bit more about what we need. I mean, there's everything that we need on Hagen to, like, build from scratch. Like, if we'd landed on Hagen, we'd be fine. But I want to make sure I take more than enough to make it easy to get started. And quick, more to the point. Why don't we turn on our robot ports? Oh, I've already built this mine for the most part. Um, could have just picked this up actually. We don't need stone that fast. I'll hold on. I'll, I'll leave these crappy miners here for now. All right. So train stop right about here somewhere. I'll place it after I look at exactly where would be convenient. We've got five. Hmm. I'll do this thing again. I've got my... Uh, we do have blue belts, but I don't want to bother here. We'll just do... A 4 to 4 balancer with lane balancing and just jam the extra input into the side here. It'll be, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Oops. And 
last but not least. Or I guess last and least, literally. Actually, this one's probably the least. So maybe it should have gone in the side thing? Whatever. It's fine. It'll be saturated regardless. Although... I guess this could... No, it's not going to come out imbalanced. Because this will go through the middle and come out both of these. Alright, so in that case we want our bulk rail loaders about here, I think. That's weird. Oh, it's probably not going to line up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because usually you have to remove three and then two of the rail segments to make this work. Um... Is this right? Not even close. There we go. And something like this, perhaps? There we go. Alright. Maybe I should blueprint that. That might be a good idea. Um, bulk rail loader station. Oh, why don't I put it something like this? Station. I need a blank spot. I'm looking for blueprint. There it is. Bulk rail loader. Cool. Baluk. Don't need the train stop names. Alright, so this can go here, I guess. And this goes here. I guess it's going to be slightly imbalanced right now, but I'm not that worried about it. And then turn it into a standard pickup station. Train length 4, stack size 80. We're not doing any fluids here. Uh, and last but not least, tell LTN what we've got. And we don't have a place for the stone to go. No station supplying iron plate. Really? Yes, that is true. Alright, let's build some more trains. I did come up with a way to belt feed them that doesn't look horrendous. Um, can we maybe copy the train here? Fantastic. Actually, get rid of most of the rail. I just want a little bit of rail there so it'll snap into place. And then... LCCL train. Whoops, that's the, that, that was supposed to be the... Uh, that was supposed to be the name. Loader was moved from 2E belt? Why is that belt of stone not loading? Uh-oh. We'll see. Alright, and it should have the schedule as well. It does not have the schedule, actually. Damn it. Alright. Um, do I want the default color for the trains? Probably. I'll make the locomotives for fluids blue or something. Uh, let's see. Uh, depot for 
two length trains in activity five seconds. Um, go. I don't think it includes the automaticness in the blueprint, but that's fine. I think I'll just do double cargo wagon because we know we know the train has locomotives. All right. Can I copy paste the schedule? I can. Oh no. Um I think I think we got the wrong schedule. <laughs> Let's make sure it is not active yet. Uh I was, I was afraid for a second there to do select new contents, but that's only with the bulk rail loaders and unloaders that that causes any problems. Alright, we're going to get rid of most of this rail, just so... The, the rail is just there, so we have something to snap to. And that should be it. I am curious as to whether... Oh, I didn't mean to include the train fuel either. Let's get that out of here. Uh, I am curious as to whether we can copy paste the schedules onto the trains by using this blueprint. We can. Learn something new. Oh! <gasps> Okay, um, let's remove the ghosts here, and also this cargo wagon, and you can go back home. Seems good. I noticed the, um, schedule gets added to the moment the train gets back, it doesn't wait for the five seconds of inactivity. Did LTN get an update, or what's going on there? I would love it if the five seconds of inactivity wasn't necessary. Like, you could put whatever you want there. That way we could have... Let, let's find out, actually. Uh, empty cargo. Do I still have another train? I do. So we're going to include and empty cargo inventory in the train schedule. Is this one... Did we get most of them? As soon as one of them has a schedule, we should see it. I think as soon as the train gets back, it's going to change. What are you still doing? Oh, this is full? Oh, I thought this was a one-off. Or maybe it is a one-off. There's nowhere for the copper to go, though. Alright, let's do a small electric motor build. That'll eat the copper. Uh, how's our military right now? Uh, production, whoops, production, kills. We are consistently killing biters. Not that many, it looks like. Let's actually look at our walls. Not a scratch, not a scratch, and not a kill. Um, this one looks fine, honestly. This one... A bit scratched, but otherwise totally fine. This one, they're slowly eating away at the walls. But I'm not overly concerned. It's quite gradual. And down here, I still haven't fixed this. But it looks like it's doing okay.
All right, I think we've got time. Let's focus on some building. And... Oh yeah, this was my, like, prototype idea for a layout that we might use. I, I think I made a blueprint for it, so we can get rid of it for now. Let's check. Yeah, here it is. This is maybe the layout that I'll go with for the fluid copper smelting in future. Sorry, bots. Uh, let's throw out a default shaped block. And... Um, what are we doing? Small electric motors. That's the first thing that comes to mind that's going to consume a bunch of copper. Can I steal from myself? Probably. I think I like... Well, it depends how many products we need, actually. We finished all our research for now? Um, sure. Stack insert a capacity plus one. It's only 250. Might as well. Oh, mining productivity. Definitely. Definitely knock that out. I should have done it sooner, probably. It's 1800, though. Do we have... We've got way more than 1800 science up here. All right, that's going to take a minute. We'll not queue anything else up just yet. Um, all right, I want to grab... Probably this layout. But we might change it a little bit. Um, whereby we might need a bigger storage box because multiple inputs. Small electric motor. How fast would this be? Forty-five per second, one blue belt. Uh, but that's one blue belt of iron and cogs in. Oh, and we need a uh, copper cable. I don't think I, I definitely don't want to send copper cable around in trains. That's just worse. Uh, actually, no, it's the same. Stack size 200? Two copper cable for one copper plate? Uh, sure. Why don't we just... Why don't we just do a, uh... Copper cable build first. Oh, that's the old rail blocks. Uh, let's build this one here. And I just remembered I need to not have my bots out when I switch to the editor, otherwise they'll just disappear. Or rather, they'll get teleported to the editor, which is the same thing. Do I really not have cliff explosives on me? Do I have a request for cliff explosives? I do. Do we not have them here? We do not. Where are we making cliff explosives? What are we missing here? Grenades? It did it again! I fixed this earlier. What? Why is the inserter... ...getting stuck trying to put in extra iron plate? I haven't seen this happen with any other... ...um like any other type of build. That's so weird. Do we have bots on the way? Do we, do we not have bots on the way to build this? Oh, there it is already. Fantastic. All right, we're gonna make sure this doesn't happen again.
But for now, we're going to have to wait a minute um, before we get our cliff explosives. How many do we need up here? Like, let's call it 10. And for now, we'll just build over here. I kind of appreciate that the uh, jetpack technically kills you and resets all your bots and stuff, because we can actually stop them from hovering over the cliffs like that and focus on something else. Alright. Robopot off. Bring bots back. Once bots are in inventory, we'll jump to the editor. And... I guess we're just gonna... Make copper cable first with this layout. Let's check what the ratio is going to look like. Uh, 72 copper plate in, and which is like two and a half red belts should be fine actually. 60 plus 15, yeah, that's fine. And then 144 copper cable out. We've got considerably more than that. Uh, two, four, six, two, four, six. Yeah, this will be fine. Oh, and we didn't fix whatever was going wrong up here, did we? Loader was removed from 2E belt. This one. Alright, let's go fix that first. It should be saturated by now anyway, so the imbalance won't matter. Fantastic. And... I guess we'll go back and get the cliff explosives. They should be ready. At Tug, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it's over here, isn't it? All right, 10. That's exactly what I said we needed. Bots activate. Do we have any more cliff explosives? We actually needed more than 10 to clear this out. Okay, um, but for now let's do a quick blueprint of this, uh, copper plate, and what, why is there a extra, one of these blueprints is wrong. Does this line up the same way? Yeah, it does. Alright, cool. Up the cable. I'd better check on the... Was it iron gears? Make sure they line up properly. Up the cable provider. Although... Okay. It's a lot less dense putting them on belts, though. Even if the stack density is the same. So maybe we shouldn't do this after all. That's probably the main reason that we don't do this, actually. Because for a build like this, for example, we would need 270 copper cable per second. So if we put it in as copper plate, we get twice the density. We do some direct insertion. Uh, we're not going to be able to get away with, like, just using this shape that we've already got. So what's the ratio? Um, 
I want to build it for prod modules later on. Ideally, I want to build it for, like, late game prod modules so that we never have to reshape the whole thing. Um, beacon 2? Oh, we've got a million of these. And assembler three. Uh, prod nines. Copper cable. Also prod nines. And the rest comes from the main, uh, from the rail blocks. I guess you could call it the main bus, kind of. Uh, how about some power over here? Let's get infinity accumulator. And I'll just do a pylon substation for now at least. Alright, so what what's our rate so far? Slightly negative on copper cable. Um, a bunch of speed modules and efficiencies. Power consumption is minimum. Power consumption is plus 600. Slight difference there. Alright, minimum power consumption. Uh... We are net negative on copper cable, but it's 49.5 to 51.56. Um, that's kind of pretty close to a one-to-one -one ratio. We could maybe pretend that it is. The ratio is worse if we don't have the prods. Okay. A lot worse if we don't have the, the the speed modules mostly, actually. Um Well that kinda sucks. I kinda wanna do these like one to one for the late game modules. If we do them two to one, that's a bit excessive. Even now? I would prefer to do direct insertion. Because... Look at this. 465. <laughs> okay. We're not going to be doing this many machines when we get here. I think we won't look that far ahead. How about... Um, wide Area Beacon 1? Tier 6 modules. I think it's 7. Um, prod module. Is that a 6? Yep. Uh, multi cylinder. Copper cable. Is it minimum power consumption? Yes, it is. And negative 40. Uh, I think we'll go the minimum power. Alright, so that is 15 to 19. Hmm. We're still going to bottleneck on the copper cable. Which makes it hard to know how much, how fast we're actually going to get small electric out of this. But if we do, if we do belts for the copper cable, that's a lot. A lot, a lot. I think we're just going to go the one-to-one. 
even though it's not going to fit that well for the early game. So like... Um, Beacon would go here. I'm pretty sure that's been measured out. Not quite. Whatever, close enough. Doesn't really matter. And I'll get rid of this, I suppose. I want... Input and output in the middle, I think. Can we, can we get some power just everywhere for the moment? Uh, and copper cable coming in from here. So that's... Uh, maybe I could speed module the copper cables here for the moment. Speed 2. That's a lot closer to a reasonable ratio, but I don't want to spend that many modules right now. We'll just put it like this and pretend it's fine. Um, something like... This? It's going to output less than one per second. How fast would this output? Five per second. And the... Iron plate and iron gear wheel would actually be slower. Maybe we should avoid using long arm inserters then. So we could do the old two belts with short inserters thing. Might be the way to go. And the beacon is going to be in the way. I think we're just going to make this wider. I think we'll have to. Yeah. All right. Copy, paste, flip. And that's the maximum that'll fit under one beacon, really. So how much copper... let's get rid of the beacon. Uh, how much copper cable would this be? 18 plate per second, 36 per second, this is fine. And considering the imperfect ratio, we're looking at a bit more than half speed from these, which is like 5 per second. So 10 per second small electric motors, that should be more than enough for a while. And we can easily update it later. Although, we don't have room uh, to put regular beacons in. I don't know if I care. I mean, we could try to make it work both ways, but... I don't think that would particularly be worth the effort. All right, so we need copper plate. Let's get let's get some visualization going here. Copper plate, and then gear and iron plate. We're definitely going to need more than this little thing to control uh, our inputs. What did we do with the multi-cylinder engines? 
Oh, single cylinder. Multi cylinder, kind of the same. But with three inputs, we're not going to do a sushi belt. This should be pretty simple, actually. Alright, so that's going to go like here. And we're going to go... What are the stack sizes? We've got copper plate. It's it's 100 for everything, isn't it? Uh, copper plate, iron plate, and iron gear wheel. This is 50, this is 100. Iron plate. Copper plate. And then... We're going to have the train bringing us how much of each? Let's steal from ourselves again. 20k each should be fine. In fact, let's copy this combinator and change it slightly. Copper plate, 20k. So to be clear, this is uh, 200 stacks of each. And we've got... 640 plus 256 stacks um, of room here. Good morning, for me at least. Mazlander, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are the biters behaving today? So far, yes, we're able to get a bit of uh, casual building done. Um, Alright, so we want... Let me just cheat some resources here as well. Infinity chest. Uh, what are we doing? Iron plate, copper plate, and gears. And then some cheat inserters. Connect to the wire. Iron plate less than... Was it 20k? 20k. Copper plate less than 20k. Gears less than 20k. And that should avoid overfilling any one resource. Lighted substation. Alright, so we want... What's the rate that we need? Well, what would it be when we upgrade all of this? Um, 12, 24... We would need... Uh, let's call it two blue belts of iron, two blue belts of gears. Actually, we end up getting better belts, don't we? How late do we get them? 60 per second, 90 per second. Whoops. Uh-oh. I don't know what I was doing pressing Control t but it seems to have crashed. That's unfortunate. Uh, do we have autosave? I don't think so. Alright, well, apart from a bunch of thinking, we didn't do that much. So it's not that bad. But I should definitely put autosave back, I think. Good evening. Are the belts flowing today? Pretty well, actually, yes. Dead like you. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, first of all, let's fix the um, very weird problem with the grenades here. 
And I see the insert is on their way already. Fantastic. Iron plate and coal. Uh, we'll, let's wait for like 20 cliff explosives before we head up here. Uh, I don't relish having to do this bit again. It's just a bit of a pain. Whatever. I should definitely request some locomotives. Say 10 cargo wagon 10. We do have the blueprint that I made for the trains, so thankfully we don't have to fiddle around again too much for that. No, it was in my inventory. I didn't put it in the... I didn't put it in here. At least we've got this. doop doop Oh, that's right. We were going to do productivity. Why do I have caps lock on? Mining productivity. Fantastic. Uh, where is it? Bulk rail load. And just being a bit... You know what? I should probably have this belt just merge into this. That'll be easier. And then we can do a normal 4 to 4 balancer. Since lane balancing doesn't matter here. Oh, that's not quite right. Uh, this one goes here, this one goes here. This one... Goes... Here, this moves down a tile, and this one can go here. Fantastic. Uh, and I don't think. Putting in blueprint ghosts of loaders is gonna work, so let's head over there directly. Once we have a few more cliff explosives. Do we have our locos? We do. Alright, can I get this blueprint done properly again? Wait for empty cargo and two seconds of inactivity. I don't think this is going to work, but I want to try it. Uh, cargo wagon times two. LCCL. Just leave one of the bits of rails so it snaps to grid. Train. No train fuel. Put that in the blueprint book. Fantastic. And we'll head over there to build these. Hey, El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, this is... We, we've almost got the cliff explosives that we need to clear that block. Thirteen or fourteen is probably about it. Gimme, gimme. Um, let's do our trains first. I think this is the least likely spot 
for a train to come in here randomly. Fantastic. Oh, we've got one more still. That doesn't seem to line up the way you'd think. I guess that's right. Alright, go, go, go. Where are, you, where are you going, actually? Is this not named properly? It is. It's just going to a different stop? Whatever. Oh, one of them's working? I want to see... I want to see this through to the end to make sure... Wait, was that a different train? No, it's already replaced the schedule that had the two conditions on the depot stop. So yeah, we can't customize that at all. Sadly. Alright, let's put a block here with the default input-output. Get rid of these cliffs as well. How many robo-ports do I have? Two. It doesn't look like we have energy troubles. Are we short on cliff explosives still? No. Oh, I didn't bring the rail this time. I guess we can build the rest. Can I make rail? I can make a bit of rail. Is it actually? No, it's not enough. I didn't expect it to be. Do we still have steel beams? Yeah, give me this stone. And another 105 rail? Easy. Although I guess we are handcrafting some steel beams for most of it. How slow is that? Two seconds. Alright, fine. I'll just go with whatever this is. It's not quite enough, is it? Alright, back for the rail. That's probably more than enough. And finish the block. do a request. Oh, I already did, just not enough. Let's make it like 500 at least. We'll worry about that later. And I was gonna say same goes for you, but we actually do need that. Uh, this, I don't like this. Nope, nope. We'll, we'll fix that signal later. Alright, let's get that stone mine working again. Uh, and let's put autosave on. How long have I been streaming? Uh, almost an hour, so let's make it like half an hour. Is it interface? No, other. Autosave, 30 minutes. It's gonna feel like five minutes. Alright, and then 
loaders. Those two actually line up beautifully. And... Fantastic. Uh, let's do standard pickup station. Give it some power. And we're back. Get this stone out of my inventory. And let's call it stone provider. sure all of that's fixed. Oh, there's... this one's unnecessary anyway. And what is this? There we go. The belts are indeed flowing. Not that we have a consumer of stone in the rail box yet. There's the autosave, even though I just set it to 30 minutes. Alright. So I think we're gonna do... Oh. I was putting it here because it was gonna be where the copper... Is it mostly copper that we consume for this? Yeah, it is. This is fine. It's not a long train trip anyway. Alright, RoboPort off. Come back here. Uh, delete this. Start with this. Is that a tree? No. And... I was gonna steal from... Uh, single cylinder engines. Oh, multi, rather. Multi cylinder engines. Single cylinder en engines. Gears. I was going to steal from here for this layout. Or most of it. And we're gonna go iron plate. Uh, whoops. Iron plate, copper plate, and gears. Actually, let's do that the other way around. Iron plate can be next to the gears. And then some infinity chests, super inserters, wire connections, uh, less than, was it 10k? 8k. Oh wait, no, it was over here. I think we were doing 10k for everything, or what? 20k. Uh, let's get rid of those. Copper plate. 20,000. Negative. Alright, so... Copper plate less than 20,000. Iron plate. Iron gear, copper plate, iron plate, and copper, I mean cog. What's wrong with the loaders? 
Yeah, what's wrong with the loaders? Evil Plum, Hissing Walnuts, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, this goes here. Loaders are going to save us quite a lot of UPS. Because we don't need, like, 24 inserters across 24 chests. Make it 48 inserters, actually. Oh, this doesn't have the filter on it. This is why we test these things. Also, these two are backward. Uh, so these will be iron plate, and these will be cog. Alright. And then... Uh, middle is about here. I'll leave room for a beacon eventually. I keep doing this, we've got... We're just accumulating wide area beacons in the inventory for the editor. Uh, and we're gonna go with... One, two, three... Just one to one. It'll be almost perfect when we have high tier modules. And I don't... It'll be pretty good when we have tier sixes. And I'm just not going to worry about how it looks now. Ratio wise. So we're going to have... Whoops. Copper plate. Whoops. Oh, it actually... That's interesting. When you place this belt, it turns it around. Does that mean we have, have a way to fix these things remotely? Let's say this is going in and we want it to go out. Uh, I'm not even going to use bots. Let's place a ghost. That doesn't do it. But when we actually place the belt, it turns it around. Okay, we have a way to fix these things remotely. The magic only happened when actually placing. Remote will not work like expected. Not always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have a way to... Uh-oh. This is fine, actually. Probably. We got Brutal Biter Champion. Okay. So we got Speeds, Commons, and Brutal. We got a lot of Speeds and Commons in this general direction. We'll have to go clear them out at some point. Uh, so I want that to go like so. And we're going to have probably Red Belt for the moment. Should be more than enough. Like so. Output to the undergrounds. I think it's sort of more important to be able to see the inputs than the outputs, right? Um, so we need iron gear. How much was it? Oh, we were gonna... I think it was like... One blue belt of each. Let's get some power. Uh... Speed modules, efficiency modules, tier threes, prod modules, uh, prod modules. All right, so the ratio here is like much better. Uh, what about the power? I think we can put more speed nines. 
what? Plus 300%. So one less speed nine. Yep. And then... Uh, this is like two belts of iron, two belts of gears. Uh, we'll have better belts by then. I think this is when I crashed it. Uh, because I was gonna like control E and then T, and I think I pressed control T, and I don't even know what that does, but suffice to say. So material science pack one gives us, uh, gives us green belts. And Material Science Pack 2 gives us purple belts. So it's going to be relatively soon. Um, wide air... Oh, beacon? What was that? Compact beacon. Huh. Oh, that's kind of late. That's very late, actually. Alright. Uh, wide area beacon. It's actually Energy Science Pack 2. Okay. So we've got an idea of how late game this is going to be. Um, the belts are much more obtainable than the beacons. Uh, uh, the belts are a bit more obtainable than the beacons, so we can basically assume that we'll have the fastest belts available. Just use R in Savnet mode? Oh yeah. Wait, what? With the loaders? Oh. That works. I'm a little surprised. Fantastic. Um, Alright, so... This would be how fast? Two blue belts. Well, less than 90 per second for each. Um... 90 per second is an entire purple belt. So this is actually... We would have to trim back the number of machines. I'm okay with that. I don't... Because, like, if we're going to end up needing... Hmm... We're going to have 236 small electrics coming out per second if we kept up with this. Uh, I, I think I just won't worry about scaling it that much. If we really want to, we could do another design, but I, I'm not going to stress too much about getting the absolute maximum under one wide area beacon. Um, but we're just building this so that we can easily scale. Uh, we can easily upgrade it later on. Red undergrounds go here, I guess. And then how much... How much do we need it this time? Not much. Less than half a red belt of each. So we'll do... Less than half a red belt of each, for each half, that is. So we'll need four of these outputs. Uh, iron plate. And gears. Actually, I kind of want to keep it consistent with how it was over here. And then we do a little... Well, these could be yellow, but who cares? Actually, I'll do it like this. And... To make this one look neat. For the sake of symmetry, I could do it like that. But then it's got to sneak around like this. Or I could bring them together, like here. It still has to sneak around a little bit. I don't think it looks any 
particularly better or worse or anything. Also, that's going to the wrong spot. Um, so let's do this. That seems fine. And then we'll do some big poles, or substations rather. I can't quite cover all of this with substations in the middle, unfortunately. So let's put this here, and that fits about the same. And we'll need some in the middle as well, actually. Can we move these up a couple of tiles? Seems good. And this is working. Except I messed up the belts earlier. Oh, we have no power. I mean, we have a little power. There we go. And then... Just a couple of belts of output. I should probably... How many have we got? Twelve? Let's make the last six have... the near setting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, just for the outputs. Near, 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 and near. Then we're using both sides of the belt. And then just put this through... splitter. Bust loader goes here. Where is red underground when you need it? Fantastic. And then... Change the name of the station. I don't think I named the other one. Oh, yes, I did. Wait, was I going for a different naming convention this time? So that the uh, requesters are a bit more descriptive? I think I thought about it, but it looks like I opted out. We could put the materials and the name of what it's there to make. Or, like, requests and then, like, a space or something. I don't like the color of that arrow. What's a good symbol for output? Output. I don't know. Build here, don't touch, kill, WTF, heart, Crestorio. Well, maybe I should just put, like, some spaces. Or maybe... I've gone with input item, output item for some stations. Yeah, what if we just draw an arrow like this? Uh, can we use a symbol? Effects. KR laser explosion. Perfect. Um, assembly machine? Pog? I don't mind this. Yeah, let's put like a few spaces though. Oh, I already did.
So that's telling us what we're requesting and what it's for. What are we making here? Single cylinder? Single cylinder and multi-cylinder. I think I like this naming convention. Hopefully I didn't mess up delivery by changing those while something was in motion. Oh, like now? I think I probably would have noticed the uh, yellow, actually. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do that here. Get rid of those items on ground. So we're making small electric. Requesting copper, iron plate, and cog. God damn it. There we go. And we're building single cylinder engine. And then, did I already set this up? I think I did. Seems good. Uh, green wire, connect to here. What are we supplying? Single cylinder engine. And... That's it. Let's make a blueprint. Uh, we can't use copy and like uh, select new contents for blueprint because that causes weird things to happen with the bulk rail loaders and unloaders. So snap to grid 8624. Absolute. Train stop names, yes. Single, no, uh, small electric. And call that the basic version. Check that it snaps the same. Fantastic. And this can go here. I did do core fragment uh, processing in my own time. Um, it's not that interesting of a build, it's just a lot of how do we make this all fit together, basically. Um, but we'll be using purple, vent, uh, purple belts for this eventually. This is assuming we have tier 9 modules and wide area beacons. Or I guess I could have done it with wide 2s, but that's sort of beside the point. Um, but yeah, we've got a uh, blue belt with splitters, with uh, loaders for input on the pulverizers. We've got loaders for output. And of course, we've got a whole mess of pipes that we have to get to different uh, fluid storages. Um, I decided to go with, just because of the way things fit together... Um, and also to keep the count of, like, pipe, uh, fluid storage areas lower. Just one big, huge storage tank, and we're going to use a little bit of pipe coming out the side so that we can fit the uh, pumps. And we're just going to have, like, one pump for each fluid wagon. It's probably fine. It's going to be slightly slower than it could be to load the fluids, but, like... For one thing, we're not producing fluid that quickly here, and for another thing, it really, really doesn't take long to load fluid. So yeah, we've basically got, we're, we're using a warehouse as like a big filter splitter thing. Every single um, physical output goes to these warehouses, uh, and then we have filtered outputs using express loaders um, that go to the different train stations uh, and we just use a splitter to put them 
into the bulk loaders. But we haven't actually tapped any core miners uh, just yet. Let's grab our blueprint. Small electric. Fantastic. Is this lined up correctly? Yeah, it is. Output with letters? I was thinking about that, but I, I think I like this better. It's a very... It, it, it takes like a, a nanosecond for my brain to process this. Fewer symbols means you can read it faster, in theory. We need more fast inserters. I probably didn't even need fast inserters for some of this, but whatever. We need a storehouse. Oh, we need a lot of beams to make that happen. Uh, and we need some cliff explosives. Also, I wish I didn't have to wait to handcraft this, because I want to connect that wire. Let's try not to forget. Let's grab the cliffies. All the cliffies. Actually, I'll just take extra for now. And what else? Do I not have any requests for the big chests? I guess not. We can handcraft them pretty easily, and if I have, like, all of these in my inventory, it takes up that many more stacks. It's not often that we're making a big container. Train is on the way. Oh. No path? Really? No path. Okay. We got iron. Why do we have six trains coming? We got copper. We got fog. More of the same. Oh, I guess I didn't put any train limits. That's pretty quick. It'll get faster as we upgrade the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Stack inserter bonuses. I definitely like the higher acceleration of the smaller trains. So queues like this are actually much quicker to resolve themselves. What are we missing? Uh, fast inserters, I forgot. Let's grab those. Hopefully they've been made by now, since we're trying to make every inserter. Oh yeah. Easy. And let's add this to the map. Fantastic. Actually, I can't quite see. Yes, we have built everything. Alright, so that's all the small electric motors we can eat. I forgot to remove the cheat thingy from the blueprint. The power supply. And let's... Whoa. Misclick. Uh, Nucleo Mind, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Good day. Getting some good Factorio vibes? Yes, indeed. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I was going to upgrade these inserters just in case. Oh, I did this before the crash. Most of it. A lot of those are probably unnecessary, but it's so little extra power, and I don't want to, like, spend the time checking. Alright, 
That looks good. I'm really liking how simple and clean our multi inputs are looking with these mods. Fantastic. So what's our actual rate of production? Small electric motor? It went from practically zero to what? Eight, seven hundred per minute? Almost. Seems good. What's next? What's this supposed to be? Iron plate? There's a blueprint of a tree there. That's the only thing I'm not liking about being able to blueprint trees. Is when we go to just copy paste them. Uh, copy paste something else we get the trees as well. But it will enable us to mass produce some nice pretty blocks later. That research is taking its sweet time, not that I expected otherwise. We've actually got a core mining drill super close to our blocks, so why don't we get started on our infinite supplies? And then I'll have to do something with the mineral water that I've been procrastinating, since we'll have a supply of that. Uh, this mine is sort of in the way still. So I guess we'll do core fragment processing here. Uh, can I just handcraft one of these? I could, but it's really expensive. Don't I have... Do I have like a physical chain of... I think I'm just using the auto crafter make drills, right? Oh no. I don't see any requests for drills here. We could do it this way, but I don't want to load too much onto it. But I think we already automated drills up to the blues. I just don't remember where they are. Here they are. Yeah, 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 that's right. And I also added, this was going to be core mining drills. No, that was going to be big drills. Whoops. Because we, we don't have those yet. All right, what do we need for the core mining drills? Yellow drills. Okay. Can we maybe... Concrete, steel plate, and electronic circuit. Well, we're going to have to belt those in. We've got concrete here. Electronic circuit. Steel plate is up this way. That's the, the much, much sparser belt. Um... I'm not seeing a great way to, like, squeeze this in without using bots. Could we maybe long-arm this? I mean, I could. Can't really get it across here gracefully. Oh, we've got steel plate here already. That helps. Because it's part of the big electric drill. A big mining drill recipe. So we just need concrete and green circuits brought down this way. I wish we could have extra long arm inserters. Kind of. I could spaghetti this through here. I don't love it, but... I hate it less than some other choices we could make. 
I don't think we have wood chests automated, do we? But we might have some just kind of lying around. And green circuits plus... Should I do it like here? No. Maybe something else will happen to fit here really conveniently. So we're going to go green circuits plus concrete, I think it was. And for that, uh, we want this contraption. Wait, that's not quite right. Move it over one. And green circuits will go here. Hey, Captain True. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, split that down there. And that should be it. Why haven't they built this? Assembly Machine 2, of all things. Do we really not have assembly tubes? Are they a lower priority than the cargo landing pad? I guess so. Just catching up, I'm guessing core mining is of your iron situation? Wait, what? I'm not sure I understand the question. We're actually just about to get started with core mining. We've got a fairly conveniently located uh, spot right here. And I'm just about to get big drills. Oh, oh, we did have a wooden chest. I didn't really need that many drills in here, but whatever. Actually, how many go into a core mining drill? 40. Maybe it's not that ridiculous. Whatever, we don't need to make coal mining drills quickly, it's fine. Uh, but why do we not have assembly twos? I mean, I could cancel all the other things we're trying to build. Radars. Do we even have radars? Like, I have them here, but I don't think we have them in the robo-network, actually. So I guess the whole thing got stalled on that. That's probably it. up little bots. It's so close and yet so far. Okay, maybe I should just go back there and give it... I'm already carrying an assembly too. For some reason I was wondering where's my vehicle, but I don't have a vehicle. I mean, technically we have a car, but that's a little bit worse than our jetpack. Speaking of bad, I ran out of fuel. Sorry, for your iron situation, iron ore supplies look low. Drinks coffee. Fair enough. Uh, we've got plenty of iron ore here. Oh, the throughput could be higher. Yeah, we're bottlenecked on two red belts. Right here. I think that's it. I was gonna steal some fuel from this train, but it got away from me. Get back here. All 
All right. Uh, so we needed a... Oh, it got built. Now that I came out of my way to do this. Uh, let's add a substation here, and we need a red chest. And since these things are stack size 1, maybe it's not that ridiculous to just let that fill up. I could maybe not go for 48 right now, though. How many drills can we even put on the planet? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, I guess. I mean, the logistics would be a nightmare the further out we go. To say nothing of the diminishing returns of drills in the first place. But it seems like they're a bit denser around the middle. I think they are. Okay, that's a small mercy. Kind of. Well, no, it is a small mercy. Emphasis on the small. So we're not... Depending on where we draw the line for how many core drills we're after, we're not going to have too big of a save file. It's still going to be, like, infinitely bigger than in point 0.5, where you could put a core drill anywhere. Um, I hope they made the individual drills faster. To sort of compensate for that. You can always just build a two-way railroad and have trains circling around. Circling around. What, to run over the biters? Uh, Vlad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm loving how easily all this works. Alright, let's go take some blue belt and I'll upgrade our iron situation. Or maybe I should just do like... How fast can this go? 90 per second, and we're bottlenecking on 60. So if I just make this blue and this blue, that'll, that'll cure the bottleneck, actually. Um, where's our blue belt? Gimme, gimme. Oh, wow. We're producing it so easily. Maybe I should start carrying it as a matter of course. You're seriously saying Factorio gives small mercies? I meant the uh, uh, 0.6 space exploration in, in particular. It's mostly cruelties compared to 0.5. Blue, 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 blue. And I forgot the loaders. Can I just... Surprisingly easy, yes. Just upgrade these like so. And blue belt. Alright. Will we now bottleneck on the drills themselves? Probably. I think so. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, I guess I should have picked up a drill. A core mining drill. Oh, we don't have one yet. That would probably help. It's actually concrete and electronic circuits that we need by far the most of. Uh, while we're waiting for that, let's put down our core fragment processing. 
And we will need... Well, we're not doing the prod modules just yet. But I think I probably will do all of the pulverizers. Just so that we're ahead of the drills for the foreseeable future. I need 20. That's kind of a lot, actually. I don't have them automated. We can fix that with a couple of clicks. If we don't mind waiting for a couple of things. Pulverizer. What does it stack to? Five. Wow, okay. We're waiting on assembly machines first. Maybe we could procrastinate that a little bit. Why not fast insert the concrete and green chips to make the core miners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did upgrade planner twice on that yellow inserter. Budgie bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. A mini loader? Uh, I guess we could. I'm not terribly concerned about how quickly we're doing the core mining drills. Um, it does take a long time to make them though. But yeah, like, how often are we going to put down a core drill? Not very. We need one, two warehouses. I can handcraft one. We need a bunch of blue belt and... Uh, for now, I'm just going to use red belt instead of the purple. So why don't we just add this here, purple, 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 becomes red, uh, red and red. But if I'm going to use this, I want to be careful not to upgrade plan the blue belts. I can actually see from these icons whether I'm going to do that. So this should be fine. We're going to need a bunch more pipe probably. Alright, is there any purple left? There is... Where have you escaped to? There it is. Fantastic. Alright, let's go get our blue belts. And while we're at it... Plan this out. Well, not plan it out, but... Set the requests, rather. I think 50 of each type of splitter is probably fine. Maybe I should stop requesting yellows already. Loader. Let's finish building the block as well. are starting to go a bit faster now. What about pipe? How much pipe are we requesting? That'll probably be a bit better. I always have separate upgrade planners for each belt. I messed up belt weaving so often. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the reasons I like to avoid belt weaving. Um, so that you can't mess it up with an upgrade planner. 
for Ayo, or I don't if I'm pronouncing that right, I hope. Uh, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Red. Oh. I forgot that in the upgrade planner. Because normally we... Yeah, previously we didn't have it. Uh, this goes here. Fantastic. Hi, you've gotten in your upgrade planner the purple loader. Yes, indeed. I need some huge storage tanks. Uh, just four, actually. Can I handcraft them? No? Wait, where are they? They're here. Okay. Let's get fuel and... Huge storage tanks in my requests. Can I keep moving while I do this? I can. Processed fuel. At least one stack. Uh, huge storage tanks. I guess I'll put it next to the pumps. I, I should reorganize this. The way it's all spaced out, I don't necessarily like. Let's put fluid things down here. The third lane is the station. Yes, you pronounce it well, and I'm always fine on your stream. Fantastic. Glad to hear it. Third lane is the station. I don't understand. Alright, uh, how many blues do we have? Not enough. I could maybe reduce the strain on the bots a little bit by walking closer, at least. Name in base? Kat... Karnisak? Is that the name you want? Uh, how do I... Here we go. Karnisak. My clan bringer of deadlocks. Alright, let's go get ourselves eight... Uh... Watch your McCallsons. Small stone text plate. Subhan or Kanaka? Kanasak, I guess, maybe. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. While you're at it, Mass Alanda. M A A S L E. N D E R. Do you want the ninety six or no? Fantastic. I should get a sound alert for that redeem. It's too easy to miss it. Doesn't matter. Okay. Where am I going? Uh, I didn't request the pulverizers. Let's grab those. I don't want to usually be carrying pulverizers. We got 15, 16. I guess that'll have to do for now. Mining prod is at 22%. That's good. I want them to focus on one side first. Uh, and then let's just get rid of the module requests. 
Can I do that remotely? Yeah, I can. And then there's no way to accidentally pick them up. Do I really want to do this auto-balancing thing like this, though? Wait, what? Anything greater than a million? Oh, I think this was just... Like, uh, example. Did I not pick up the huge storage tanks? Alright, so what are we missing here? 58 loaders, really? And a couple of pumps, where did I miss that? Oh, I didn't place them yet? There we go. 58 blue loaders, 50 pipes, a few pulverizers, and four huge storage tanks. Pardon me. Got something in the back of my throat for a minute there. Alright, where's our pulverizers? There we go. I think we just need like four, right? So we can stop making those for now. And I was looking for the big storage tanks. Do I not have those automated? I've got large storage tanks automated. Alright, steel pipe, steel plate. And how many do we want? Four. That only makes one, really? Well, let's add it to the auto crafter while we're at it. Um, we'll do fluid things down here. I'll leave room for this just in case we want to do this later, but we do have these automated for better throughput elsewhere. What do steel pumps require? Alright, so at least a stack of those, at least a stack of those. Steel pumps. Uh, stuff that's already in the network, I think. Let's go for a stack of those. How much power do they use? The steel pumps have no minimum power consumption, but the uh, regular pumps do. Probably because this is from K2 and this isn't. Uh, this is like um, space exploration. So I feel like the steel pumps are better in every way, actually. Um, I think they're more power efficient when they're working as well, since they can go how much faster? 
50% faster, and... Okay, they're a little more power inefficient when they're working. But they cost nothing when they're not working, which is a lot of the time. Um... Is that everything? No, we don't have the storage tanks yet. I need to queue up one more for handcrafting. Where's our steel? There it is. There we go. And I definitely want to take extra loaders. Where are the loaders? Oh, they're supposed to be here. Wait, how did I get them? I had like... Oh, I didn't have any. Okay. That's why we need so many. So it's not like we needed 108 earlier. Uh, so we need steel gears into here. Um... We can make that happen. It's a little awkward. Does this need steel gears? It doesn't. Wait, it doesn't need either of these things. What the hell is this here for? Okay then. Uh, please to be not filling my inventory too much. Could I like... Filter this off, I guess. Let's just do it like this. Steel. Steel wheel. Wait, what? It didn't do it. Because of the autosave. And we need blue belt as well? Oh. Uh... That's tricky. Maybe... Maybe we need another... I don't see room for a spaghetti in here. Oh, no. How are we going to get blue belt over here? This one needs red belt. I need blue belt up here, kind of? Uh, this is not necessary. We've got that auto-crafted. Pasta alarm? Indeed. Alright, I think I see the play. Uh, could you... There we go. Near side? Or is that... Should that be far side? Okay. And then... Belt. Could, could you pick this up, please? There we go. Belt goes here. And... wait, is this gonna work? No, it's not. Near side, I think? Hold on. Blue belt into your hand. Yeah, yeah, that works. Alright, we got there. Spaghetti achieved. Fantastic. And 
my inventory is crying. Uh, I don't need know why I need this many industrial furnaces. And I probably don't need this much rail either. Alright, so we're way, 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 way behind on express loaders, but it doesn't take too long to make them. We're going to run out of steel, ge uh, steel gear wheels, though, I think. How many did it say? It was like 58 for this block. So like 30 will get half of it working properly. Now let's just make sure we get them all. So it seems we've run out of steel gear wheels. Because we're out of steel. Should I get steel into the rail network and maybe deliver it back here? That might be the way to go. I'm loving how small the train stations are as well. It's a lot easier to deal with. Also, the fact that one splitter deals with this, that helps also. Alright, so how do we make steel? It is... We need to make coke. And I'm pretty sure the only use of coke is to make steel. I am wrong about that, actually. Coke liquefaction. We need it for biter research data. Uh, delivery cannon doesn't really count. Steel, steel ingot. Molten iron and coke. Well, we'll be doing that later. Steel beam. Oh, you can make steel beam directly. In an, adv an advanced assembly machine. Okay. Same thing with gear wheel. Uh, Alright, so as far as we're concerned right now, no. Coke doesn't go into anything else. Should I attack the biters first? I think we've got time. Oh, uh, let's disable my robo port before I jump into that, just in case. I already blueprinted this, I think. Yes. Fantastic. Alright. So... We're going to use electric furnace. No, we're going to use industrial furnaces. Wait, didn't we already... It might not end up being the same layout, but we have industrial furnaces already laid out like this. I'm thinking we probably will have to change it. When you jump, your character literally gets erased. This is true. Or do you mean jumping to um, the editor extensions as well? Um, because it's true of the jetpack. Alright, steel requires iron plate and coke. We could do coke elsewhere. How fast would this be? 30 per second, 90 per second iron plate in, and only 18 coke. How do we make the coke? With coal and wood. That's the only way, actually. Um, we'll need a coal mine in the rail network. We'll need a tree farm in the rail network. And... And what? 
Do I want to make the coke here, is the question. So we can't do it with industrial furnaces. Best we can do is electric. At least with the having to set the recipes on these things, it means we can rate calculate them without any resources. Uh, how fast is this? 0.75 coke per second. We need 18. Uh, that's not what I meant. There we go. We need 24. Hmm. So this should be one to one. I think we're going to put coke into the rail network instead. Asandanima, thank you very much for the research. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Right hand drive this time. Um, only if you mirror the video. If you mirror the video, it's right hand drive. Unloader is right hand drive. Yeah, so the um, the roundabouts uh, you can you can go both ways. It makes it very very easy to get a train station off of the rail network with very little space. So we can have one here, we can have one here, we can have one here and here at the same time. Uh, I've actually got that for the core fragment processing block, so. When the trains stop, they only take up space back to here, so they don't block each other when we've got one in each corner, uh, two of them in the same corner, basically. Alright, how many of these do we have? 37? Not quite enough. Coke is good for LTM, is 2 to 1. You'll have less inputs. 2 to 1. Uh, two to one less inputs? Oh, you mean direct insertion? Wait, no, that's not quite right. We've got 12 and 12. Oh, it's one to one with these. But only as long as we're not using modules or anything. But that'll be true for a little while. But we would also have to bring in the iron. And we need to make it work with the spacing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it would probably be better to just pretty much copy what we did for iron to make steel. And we'll have two inputs, coke and wood, and we'll make the wood and coke elsewhere. Uh, so, that means we have to go back and make, whoops, some greenhouses. Not sure how this is going to work out. I'm very tempted to make a block that just uses water. Um, it's it's quite slow, the consumption of water. 6.66 per second per machine. And how much power is this? 200 kilowatts. So if we have 10 of these, or 11 of these per... Uh, that's 8. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That'd be net positive on power and free wood. It would just take up a lot of space. I don't think it's worth it though. The um the amount of stone this takes if we use the recipe that's twice as fast. 
is not a whole lot. Uh, it looks like if we make fertilizer as well, it's twice as fast again. Which also means it costs less power to get the same stuff if we discount the cost of making the fertilizer. Fertilizer, biomatter, and nitric acid. Alright, that is a nuisance that I don't want to deal with just yet. So we're going to start with sand and water to make wood. Um, I guess we should leave room for a beacon. But then... Well, it's still going to be the same layout. Right? If we end up using that top tier recipe. Yeah, let's at least make it easy to upgrade later on. So I'll just measure out where a beacon is going to go. Something like this. Then, like so. Fantastic. Uh, can we do better? Well, this would intrude on the other block, but we can always move everything over a bit. Or a lot. The other half block is what I meant to say. Um, and here we're going to have sand and... It's actually just sand. But do we want to make the sand on the spot? Um, what ways do we have to make sand? I think we're going to use the crusher, right? We can use a crusher, a pulverizer, or a mech facility that's in space. And these are all byproducts. Uh, let's see. I think the pulverizers are faster. Crafting speed 2 versus crafting speed 1. Min consumption 7.5 kilowatts. Uh, max 233. Yeah. This is going to cost more minimum, but we probably don't care. Unless the, uh... Unless a single crusher can keep up with all this easily. Unpowered beacons, blah blah blah. Uh... Wait, what? What recipe did I pick here? Wood using sand and water. Oh, I didn't set a... Oh, you can't set a recipe on this. Okay. Let's grab a... Infinity chest. Give it some sand. Give it some sand. There we go. And insert. What is that? Let's give it some power. And like so. Alright, so this is showing sand. Oh, it's destroying it? Wait, what? Oh, did I pick the wrong thing? Stone. Okay, that's how that works. Uh, stone. There we go. 
Pulverizer is the better option. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Can we not? There we go. Bonk? Did bonk, did bonk not work? Oh, not again. So apparently I can't one-click to run Mix It Up anymore. I have to click Log In every time. Which is great when I'm firing up four or five programs at a time before streaming. Oh, it's because there's an update. That's probably why. Alright, can we, can we, can we get that sound effect working? There we go. Alright, uh, so rate calc. Oh, we actually are positive on sand. Just from one crusher. Okay, then. Hey, BG Neiman. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I kind of get. Uh, wish I could get this to direct insert into the crusher, but it's fine. So how fast does this consume? Only three per second. Um, can we go like this? Except then there's no room for the loader. Something like this, perhaps. Where are we going to do the output? Uh, this is going to be super slow, right? 8 per second, 2 per second. Even with modules later on, I don't think we're going to have a problem having some long arms. And... Like so. I'm fine, hope you too. Yeah, not too bad. Thanks for asking. Alright. Uh, and then... These will all have to go at least one tile to the right. So that we can do this over here. And then loader. Well, how fast is this going to consume? Super slow. All right then. Probably put some reds just so we have undergrounds. This is fine, indeed. How about tidy it up a bit, like so? Oh, one off. That's tragic. I don't like the look of that. <laughs> Let's just pretend we never saw this. And then yellow belt. I guess we're doing a three to two. But that just means we're doing a four to two. But it's so slow that we don't need to worry about that, right? What's the max rate of the whole thing? 16 wood per second. It's not even one belt. I mean, it's, it's more than one yellow belt. But other than that, one off, indeed. 
Uh, is this... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, please. No! <laughs> uh, I guess if these two could share an output belt, if we doubled this up, because it's so slow. That'll be okay. Also, if we do put a beacon here one day, there's tons of room to move the inserters around. That's fine. Okay, so we got... We don't have to worry about the sides of the belt either. Boop. Let's do this. And this. And this is a wood provider. And we're asking for stone. So that we can make... Where is it? So that we can make wood. And how much stone are we looking for? Probably not a whole lot, to be honest, since... Uh, 4 cent per second... It's going to be like 1.5 stone per second. Let's just set this to like two train loads. Uh, 8,000. Oh. You need water too. Uh, good point. Good point. Let's get some pump. Right about here, and a huge tank. The water's going to be so slow as well that we don't have to stress about... Oh, that could work. Nice. That's very nice, actually. The water's going to be so slow that we don't have to stress about, like, bringing it in by train. We could put this wherever we want, but for now I'll just put it next to the coast. And we'll skip the water train. Alright, so now we need some substations. Um, about here. Seems good. Actually, this will go here. That'll be the middle if we double this one day. Which, I say one day, but wood is quite slow. We might double this very, very soon, actually. Hmm. I could do some blue belts just so that we're not carrying anywhere near as much. To come and build this, because currently we're looking at 279 yellow belts. Whereas we could do something like this. And just because I don't like the multicolored belts, let's do that. It's super overkill, but what are you going to do? Uh, and we could do something similar here. Oh, look how far that goes. That is luxurious. Kill this. Get rid of that. And this as well. 
Last but not least. All right. I think I'm just going to run an upgrade planner over all of this. And come to think of it, whatever, this is fine. I could have like one belt go to the middle and then it would still look kind of wonky with the splitter because there's no middle tile. All right, are we ready? I think so. Just double it from the start since wood is so slow. We could do that. Um, let's start with this part. Actually... It's only the bit in the middle that might look a bit different. Oh, that's not what we want. Oh, I do actually have room to do it like this? Wait, no. Wait, maybe. I thought we were one tile short for these to have their own belts. No? That's right. And we like mirror this. Auto save. That seems good. It doesn't quite line up the same because trains, but I can live with that. No, it's not just trains, actually. It's that this part would be flipped around, I think. So this would go here? Yeah. Symmetry. And then the underground pipe goes here. I like that. Um, we could just connect these as well. Wire goes... Oh, we need to know how much water we have also. Uh, what are we requesting? Water as well as stone? So we need a request threshold also for the water. 8k stone. And a train can carry uh, 50k. And this can do 200k. I'm just going to go 100 I forgot to make this um, negative as well. Okay. 
This looks kind of weird. Can we just... Mirror the opposite side for that? Much better. Is this correct? Yes, it is. So this should line up the same way. And it too. Fantastic. Wait, what? Much better. Alright, that looks pretty good, I think. Very neat and tidy. Very symmetrical. Input bottleneck. Hey, NG. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what do you mean by input bottleneck? We need four sand per second. Eight for the entire block. Uh, this thing doesn't recognize that it that it gets sand. Oh. Uh, sorry, that it gets stone. To make sand. So now rate calculator knows what it's talking about. The yellow belts? Right here? We only need three sand... Uh, we need three stone per second to get 7.5 sand. And we only need four sand per second. So it's incredibly slow. It'll probably be enough even if we beacon it later on. Alright, I think that is our wood. Um, what were the offsets again? Top needs power? Oh, this is true. And we can put it nice and tidy right about here. No! Wait, how did this happen? Oh, this is actually offset by one. It just looks straighter because the wire comes from the right side. Yeah, that seems fine. Alright, that should be our wood. We need to make this from scratch because it's got loaders. 86.24 are the offsets. 86 and 24. Snap to grid absolute. Wood. Basic wood. Actually, can I use the crafting combinator wood recipe? The one that shows... This is the only one with a different icon, actually. So never mind. I wanted to show that we're using the sand. Is the green wire at the output station connected right? I think so. Let's just put this in here. Yep. It's fine. Alright, I hope this is the last time... I, I hope this one block will be enough for quite a while. Um, but it'll be very easy to upgrade it later on. So let's get... How many, uh... How many, uh... Greenhouses was that? 48. And I'm pretty sure I haven't automated them. Uh... 
let's just do a temp request for those. I won't be carrying them most of the time. They stack to 25. We're still making pulverizers? Oh, I did request quite a few. Let's back off on that for a little bit. So, important question, did I get my name in base? Uh, I'm pretty sure you did. Or was that the last playthrough? Uh, there's so many. But it's nice and short, right? Did you get your name in base? Did you redeem it, like, today? Or... We did have the biters eat a bunch of the names a while ago, but I did make sure we replaced them. I was very careful about that. Last I had four, a couple days ago I redeemed it. Oh. Let's see. Uh, that's misleading. It says last month. That's literally a few days ago. Alright. I'll, I'll trust you, NG. It's fine. Uh, let's get our... E-N-G-I... And... Editor mode keeps eating my robots? Yeah, you gotta be careful. Fraser K, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fantastic. And... Uh, what were we doing? We were looking for... Oh, greenhouses are coming in fast. That's good. We've already got 15. Well, let's just go build what we can. There might be something else that we run out of. Also, hi. I have the fusion bots from faster start, so I can't simply just replace them. Oh no. Should we do the wood here? I'm thinking probably. I don't want it stepping on the stone. Um, how many blocks can we fit? Right about here. We can fit two. So we could have the wood nice and close to um, the steel. Or rather, the coke. I kind of want the steel close to the iron, though. So I'm thinking up here. That seems good. We're far from needing it, but maybe I should put another depot up here as well. Why are my bots... Oh, there we go. Am I chat muted? No, you're not. Own galaxy? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How much rail is one of these blocks? Uh, 1.3k. But we didn't need, like, a bunch of it. But I'm probably going to run out. Can I make some more? 37. I think we're going to make it. Alright, let's grab our... 
I should probably change this to greenhouse for the icon. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, and now that I've got a bunch of blue loaders on me, I should go place what I can over here. Also... This goes here, I think. Yes. It didn't place the wiring over the top of what was already there, so I gotta watch out for that. Oh, the stone has already arrived. Nice. Uh, I need some crushes. I don't have them automated, but they're pretty easy. I think. Yep. Apparently I'm not carrying automation cores. And we'll just bring the water in without a train. Uh, wait, I need an offshore pump, which I don't have in my inventory, which I think is fine, actually, because we don't place them that often. There's our water, and there's our wood. Alright, let's go place what we can for what is going to be our first block for core fragment processing. And we'll have to come back to place some more loaders. Oops. Seems good. Is it just loaders now that we're missing? It is 18 loaders. Fantastic. Uh, we also need to set a request for the core fragments. What do they stack to? It doesn't say here. Um, okay. Can I not? There we go. Stack size 20. That is harsh. But it'll be nice and close to this drill. So... 160 times 20. Minimum. 3200. And this is... 4 fragment... Requester. There's only one use for vanilla core fragments, so I'm not going to bother with the naming convention where we say what we're doing with it. Master 8 Luck, good to see you again. A oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get some more uh, express loaders and greenhouses. Fantastic. How many more do we need up here? Probably fewer than we're carrying. Uh, 33, actually. That's not that over the top. Wasn't this supposed to be... Oh, yeah, yeah. I temporarily changed it. Life support canister cleaning. Get in there. 
And I should probably be requesting more rail. Uh, I think it's fine. Whoa, that was kind of scary. Oh, we don't have the loaders hit. No. <laughs> All right. Um, could you maybe go over here so that you drop off at the other station? There we go. Wire goes this way. And there's probably too many trains queued up here because the wires weren't connected as well. Um, I only see one stuck here, so it'll probably be fine. It'll sort itself out. It's so slow. Alright, so what's our rate of wood from the whole thing? Uh, a whopping 32 per second. Or oh, one stack every three seconds-ish. What is this? Wait, what? What is this black stuff that I can only see when I'm over here? Oh, it's the tree. It looks so weird. Tree x-ray off. That is a strange looking tree. Right then. Could I get you to put the stone into the other drop-off? Fantastic. Alright, so now we need coke, which is uh, wood plus coal, I think. Which means we need a coal mine in the rail network. Which means probably not just this. Uh, how far do we have to go for coal? Ragamuffin? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's kind of far. It's a lot for at this stage of the game, but it is kind of far. Um. Okay. Just going to do it like this for now. And we're going to put a train station here with one-way rail going to and from, but they'll share this bit. Hey, Revan. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess let's start placing it. We're gonna run out. Should I go get more first? Probably. But then 400 isn't gonna get us that far. I stand somewhat corrected.
How's my fuel? 79. This is fine. Yeah, that rail went further than I thought it would. Make some more? I can, but I think it's better if I just go grab it. And after we do the coal mine, I'll go push the biters back on the southeastern front. That's way more than enough, probably. Am I carrying drills? Yes, I am. Do you skip the energy for recharging bots by mining them? Yes. And also just get them back into the inventory much quicker. Oh, we're stuck on a rock. Alright, so our signals are going to look something like this. And we'll do some loaders. Actually, let me grab that blueprint again. Just like so. Kind of hard to see the coal, a little bit. Let's get some blue belt, uh, some blue miners because that's what I've got here. And I kind of want the others to go the other way. So we're going to just snake it through, make it fairly easy to build. There's probably some gaps in the power. No, nope, not quite. I've already used up all my drills though. Um, I definitely want everything... to go through a splitter, and then Where's coal? We need power over here as well. These are a little bit overkill. This will go here. This will go here. have the design finished so I don't have to think about it again. Uh, are these already covered? No, not quite.
Actually, I can move this up a bit, and maybe... I think that's covered all of the coal. Fantastic. Oh, is it powered? Uh, I think so. Yes. Alright, let's add power up here. It's all going to be connected. Big power pole time. Wait, what? There we go. Oh. Does this really... That's unfortunate. Nice and easy. Hey, Immo. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I go past? Did I add a bunch of... No, we're fine. This is fine. And bonk. Uh, let's get rid of this stone... Can I drop it off somewhere? Probably not. Actually, yes. Because we didn't request too much stone over here. Nice. How much wood do we have? Quite a bit already, actually. That's good. Uh, let's go pick up more drills. And whatever else I'm not thinking of right now. I don't need any greenhouses, actually. At least for now. I don't remember why I'm carrying 40 industrial furnaces. Probably from when I was building the, uh... Furnace rows. that be a lot, indeed. The belts to the left in the coal base are not linked up... Not linked to the pickup. Uh, let's see. So we snake them through here, uh, and yes indeed. Alright, do we have our drills? We do not. Let's go grab them. Anything else we might need? Pretty much just drills and some more red belt. I really should go attack those biters. I've been procrastinating it. I did say I would do it after the coal station. We do have defenses here. Theoretically, the biters could run past them, but they should come to the turrets first. If I had gun turrets on me, I would leave them here. Alright, that seems pretty good. How much coal do we have? Already quite a lot. Nice. Uh, pollution's already quite a lot, though. In fact, it's spreading to these biter nests. Alright, let's go... Uh, I won't make the coke block yet. 
We'll go back to base, gear up to fight the biters. I'll take a little break and we'll do that next. Don't forget to get more jetpack fuel. Yeah. We're literally just about to run out. I do have it auto supplied, but um, we'll definitely be wanting a bit more than that as we go fight. I should probably have a. Hmm, I should probably have a different set of requests for fighting the biters because we're going to run out of space. Let me just put some of this away. Or or not. Uh, the bots still haven't brought any fuel. Let's just go grab it. And like 10 stacks is way more than plenty. Alright, so we've got poison capsules, we've got rockets. I don't have that many rockets. Did we stop making them? No? We're just too busy making other things? We need more explosives. Um, okay. Did we always... Have trouble getting explosives here? There's no shortage of explosives. I think the bots are just getting run... Uh, run ragged. And then... There's a bunch of stuff I would like to get rid of. In my requests temporarily, but it's going to be the same amount of work to put it back. Drop the robo ports. Uh, we need at least one battery because the portable nuclear reactor can't keep up with the laser. Where's my battery? Don't tell me I put it away somewhere. Is it in here? Uh, can we request it? Battery... I think it was big personal battery. It is on the way. There's something like a request template. Yeah, I just can't be bothered with this instant. We've still got some room in inventory. All right, power, movement, and shield. Actually, can we make the red shields? Uh, no, I thought we could. We could have researched it by now. Okay. It's fine. I'll just go in with half as much shielding. Uh, what about our rockets? We're up to 167. Maybe I should use the non-explosive, I mean the less explosive rockets, because with combat mechanics overhaul they keep hitting rocks and trees and stuff and blowing up in my face. Alright, let's give it a save right there, and we'll get some words on stream. Once the page loads. There we go. Alright, words on stream will start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. 
Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
That's a new word for me. One more? One more. Okay. That went well. Let's continue that a bit later. And back to Factorio. So where were we? Uh, we got some biter killing to do. Probably quite a bit around about this big crescent around here. All of the... Uh, white and yellow nests. We've got... Well, I had the game paused, so we don't have any more of rockets or anything, actually. But that's fine. Plenty of fuel. Plenty of nuclear fuel. Two shields, personal battery, personal laser, and jetpack. We got poison capsules. Oh, I need heals and I guess I don't really need repair packs. Um, how many medical thingies do we have? Um, let's see. First aid kit, med pack, med pack, med pack, med pack. Do we have anything in the logistic network called med pack? Uh, we have nine of them. Could maybe use a few more of those. Um, wood, iron, and biomatter. And then... Plastic bar? I think just lots of first aid kits is fine, honestly, because there's, like, no cooldown on using them. I'm not seeing a good place to spaghetti this, though. Wood, iron, and biomatter. We've got wood and biomatter here. We've got iron here. Um, actually, maybe. That might not be so bad. And then, how much does this heal? Uh, 25. Mr. Monty Ponty, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
For non-native speakers, it's perfectly okay to pull non-existent words from bots or thin air. Sure. Xenox, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Do I want to make the next tier of medpack? I would need to bring raw fish, actually. Or I would need a life support facility. I, I don't want to bother with that. How many fish do we have? Playing around. Zero. Alright, in that case... I could upgrade them as I go, as I'm out there, but whatever. And wood. And biomass. Power, and that's it. Let's add a red chest. Make sure it's in the robot network. This is a little slow, so maybe I'll handcraft as I go. If I do handcraft it, if I just pick up some more fish and upgrade them. So we need wood, iron, and biomatter. I'm amazed that this thing is still sitting at like, what, 60 stacks as opposed to empty or full after this much time. It is perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Um, alright, I've got wood. Can I get rid of some of this, uh, coal? Don't need to carry all this rail, or cliff explosives, or extra battery. Uh, give me some biomass. Give me some more wood, I guess. And give me some more iron. And we can suddenly handcraft 300 of these. That's a good start. Alright, let's go kill some biters. You going biter bashing? Yes, indeed. I just want to push them back far enough that the wall here doesn't get constantly chewed on. Especially now that we're going to be expanding our pollution cloud. I should probably make a block to deal, uh, to do the, uh, air filtration, or purification, I think it's called. Oh, did I, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to bring the defender capsules. Also, can we queue up destroyers? We can. I still want to finish mining productivity first. Defenders should still be capable of doing something. Woo, bite a Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Doesn't growing wood absorb pollution? Uh, does it? Oh, 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 are we... We're dying to... Yeah, we didn't run out of fuel, we ran into uranium. Whoops. Uh, let's have a look here. And let me just... Add a... Icon right about here. Pollution, negative 5 per minute. Yes, it does. But I don't think it'll be enough. Good old K2 with the uranium troll, right? Where did we put these? Fantastic.
All right, back we go. I could swap out the jetpacks, but then these would have to recharge. This is a good direction. Hey, Andy Gamey. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, time to throw out Defender Capsules. And start with Poison. Those are some big worms. Oh, we've got some regen biters here as well. Ow. Did we get some damage upgrades that I forgot about? Because they're killing the nests much faster than I would have expected. Especially after leaving the biters to evolve for a while. Nice and softened up now. I'm trying to... but Iridite is kicking my ass. Oh. I think I saw um, on Damsel's stream, Iridite is a bit more complicated now. Especially, I think it's the earliest thing in the production chain, as far as I'm aware, where they have you recycling inputs. That went pretty smoothly. Rampant biters should be default? <laughs> I don't know about that. And up here... We need more... Uh, we need more bots, actually. They're just running out of time. Oh god. Okay, we're fine. This is fine. That was unnecessary. I feel like we're doing more damage with everything than I remembered. Still gotta watch out for those big worms. Otherwise, we'll lose all our bots in one shot. Alright, where to next? Up here? Peaceful only applies to Nalvis with SE. I could have seen myself going peaceful for the next run, but like... I also wanted to play with combat mechanics overhaul and the new weapons and stuff. Alright, where to next? Up here, I think. We just dropped something? What the hell? Why did I just drop a bunch of iron plate? Uh... Did it have something to do with that long queue of handcrafting? And my inventory being full, maybe? What? That's so weird. I 
I don't like the look of some of those big weird spawners. That's a lot of reinforcements. Uh, can we get some fish? Let's see. Um, put these in my trash slots. Give me the fishies and we can start making better med packs. I think. Wood biomatter. Oh. Oh, I still need to cancel all of this. Yeah, that should be fine. I can only make 25? Oh, because I don't have enough fish. Uh, was that the wrong one? No? Am I still crafting the first one? No? Wait, where is it? There we go. And away goes the poison. Round and round and round. Go. Need some more bots. Need some more poison. Need some rockets. one. Poison. Especially on... Oh, that's a lot of worms. Okay. Okay. We didn't lose any bots, shockingly. Worms are tough. Let's go get this little island out of the way first. Got more range with the rocket launcher, but it's a bit of a waste. We can carry a lot more poison capsules. 
But I guess technically we can carry more rockets, but with the hotkeys. It's worth it to get rid of the uh, big biters though. They have so many hit points, the spawners do. Meanwhile, this base just folds like laundry. Maybe I should have used poison there. I didn't think I had to take that long. And we're finally finishing this one off. Fantastic. All right, a couple more commons up this way. No more regen biters, I hope. like one regen worm. That's kind of weird. Is that all the spawners? Just about. Fantastic. Make sure there's nothing hidden here still. And this space is so small I don't think we really need the poison. Have you ever thought about playing the Pyanodon mods? Not really. Everything I hear about them is just arbitrary complexity, and not just complexity, but like, super grindy. Like space exploration without the toys, but with more irritating recipes, I guess. that regen biters I don't want to bother with those and definitely want to get rid of the yellows mixed in with the regens unfortunately oh uranium's got me What's the difference between colors, different resistances, etc.? Yeah, so the regen biters are really, really tough. Uh, they do regenerate much more quickly. 
they are super vulnerable to fire, and they're actually incredibly bad at attacking your base, but they are much, much worse, uh, much more difficult to kill at their nest. The yellow biters are fast biters. White is common biters, that's just the same as vanilla. The purple ones actually spawn smaller biters as they go, which can be a huge problem. Later on we get nuke biters. Uh, I, I'm surprised I actually haven't seen this yet, but last time I did like a Death World game, one of the most problematic uh, types of enemies was the poison biters, because they would leave behind a poison cloud whenever they die. So they would always take a huge chunk of the wall out whenever they died. Um, so basically I ended up having literal concrete walls in front of the turrets that were like 10 tiles thick. What else is there? I can't really think of any others right now. The first science takes a lot of effort in Pi. Yeah, that just sounds like... It sounds like all of the effort with none of the satisfaction from the progression. None of the, uh, like, rewards. Kind of like early SE.6 to some extent. The amount of the the amount of trouble that we have to go to to get uh, blue, purple, and green logistic chests is a bit over the top, I think. This could be bad. Oh, that's flamethrower. Should probably have used more poison. But you get trains and bots with the first science? Uh-huh. So... There's just no smoothness to the progression? It sounds like? If I want something where it's incredibly difficult to get things that uh, we generally take for granted as relatively basic. I'll play Oxygen Not Included. It is completely different on the progression side. Uh, Bearlescent, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should kite the biters that are attacking me more instead of keep backing into them. nest off now. Not quite. So even with expansion off, they keep rebuilding their nests until you eradicate one completely. Actually, I think in vanilla, they won't expand too close, depending on the settings, uh, to nests that are already there, so leaving a nest half destroyed is actually sort of gonna 
leave it permanently not that threatening. Okay, nothing attacking us right now. Luxurious. Let's head down this way. I'll probably finish the rest of this with no more poison. That's a lot of biters. We should just avoid them for the moment. And preferably have them run through the poison. I just ran out of capsules. I should have brought more capsules. We have done a lot of damage this trip though. Let's finish off this nest, since we've already weakened it. There's only yellows, relatively easy to kill. I should give him some rockets, though. If only to speed things up a bit. Ow. And that's the trouble with rockets. With, uh... Combat mechanics overhaul. Shoot a barely visible twig while you're jetpacking over it. And it'll blow up in your face. this one. What's the goal of these attacks? Push the biters back fast enough that their attacks on my base are not so frequent or strong. I do have expansion turned off, but with Rampant, uh, it's not just pollution that causes them to attack. Oh, that was bad. I killed a lot more bots than I thought it would. Alright, we're about done here. Um, I've cleared about a third of what I want to in this direction. So let's go get more... Whoops, that could have been bad. Uh, let's go get more poison capsules. Dotted Ant. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Productivity is at 85%. Mining Prod 3, that is. Alright. Where's our... What? Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's... You know what? Um, can we can we calm down a little bit on these? So we got poison capsules only eighty nine. That's unfortunate. Rockets are back to two hundred. 
Um, am I making... Yeah, poison capsules are here. But rockets come first. I could put off the rockets. But now... Oh, now it's just trying to make explosive rockets. Okay. Just give me the poison capsules, please. There we go. Are you planning on researching new military tech? Yes, we've already got it queued up. Artillery when? Uh, not for a little while. We do have everything we need, but it costs another thousand. So I'd like to get the smaller military things researched first. Railgun turret is only prod science and utility science away. That's exciting. And we get something called a heavy rocket launcher with military five. Portable Imosite solar panels. That's surprisingly low tech. So how do we get Imosite? I, I know Hagen has some, I think. Imosite cave. Oh, that's right. I think I saw one... Uh, is this it? Raw Imosite, 44,000. Okay. Mining time, 200%. I thought Imosite would be pretty late game, but apparently not. How about the personal railgun? I have it uh, with limited ammo, so I don't want to use that. I, I don't want to use it all up on, like, low-level biters. I should remember to go repair this as well. Do I have walls? I do not. Should also bring some repair packs. I can't believe I don't have a request for those. Do we have them here somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Alright, how many poison capsules? A hundred. Perfect. Uh, I guess we'll leave it at that for now, but I want to request significantly more poison capsules for next time. And I think we're ready to get going. Definitely go for the railgun turret with explosive shells. Does a ton of damage. 4k plus. So it's like... Uh, kind of like artillery, but not. Oh, I see fighter friendos on the map. I guess they already went past here. What is that? Oh, that was more biters. Ghosts of them on the map. Alright, let's get our shields on. Shorter range and fast firing. I see. Alright. Get the butts out. Don't get too close to those worms. Let's go up this way. might hit this one with poison and then go back up. Shit. 
be able to finish this one off now. Fantastic. And maybe a bit more poison over here. This nest. Should I heal up? Probably. Refresh the box. This way. Nice. Uh, I should probably get those nests as well. Pretty much want it to just be regen biters that are still in range to attack our base. I think once they've mutated from like vanilla biters, they can't turn into anything else. I could be wrong about that. Oh, what's this? Some kind of green biters? I think I got my bots killed somehow. And into the worms. This nest is kind of big. What's taking damage right now? Exactly where I thought it would be. That same wall. The one where pushing the biters back to defend. I don't understand where these green biters are coming from, though. Nests are respawning rather quickly. Oh, I see them now. Yeah, Acidic Hive. There's a few mixed in. Oops. No, 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 no. No rockets. Only poison. Oh, I lost all my bots again. Rip. I'm guessing the acidic ones have some AoE attacks or something, but I'm not noticing. They do the acid on the ground just like vanilla, I think. 
But it looks like I can fly over it. No, I took damage that time. Almost there. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. All of the bots just flew into the fast fighters and they nommed them in a second. Can we finally get the last spawner here, please? Nope. It's just too much. It's not even taking damage from the poison. Okay, I think the acidic biters are immune to poison. Can we see the immunities? It's too much text. It's got a lot of hit points as well, but I think we finally got it. Alright, there's reinforcements coming from all directions. Let's just get out of here and focus on another nest. Makes sense, indeed. Looks like they have a mutation tree, maybe. It would be surprising if you could have if you could prevent nuke biters from spawning just by revealing the map out far enough, I guess. And I'm already out of poison capsules. We're gonna need destroyer capsules soon. Oh no, these are destroyer capsules. I meant the upgraded ones. That's a lot. Should I keep attacking or probably go back for more poison capsules? Let's make sure we cleared this nest properly. I think we did. Except for one worm. I don't think the worms can reproduce. I want to hit this, but... Oh, it's all yellow. Alright, I think we can do that. the other way. The acidic ones are definitely tougher to bullets as well. We could maybe use the flamethrower on them. It's definitely no poison capsule. I don't really want to use rockets here, but maybe I should. Watch out for the trees. Watch out for whatever I just shot. I think I should probably go back for the poison capsules. We'll finish clearing this base. 
Otherwise it'll all regen and stuff. Projectiles don't seem to do a whole lot to the bots. It's really just when they're caught by a huge swarm of fast fighters. Alright, let's get out of here. Go fix that wall on the way back. leaving my shields on while I go back. The more of these I kill on the way back, the fewer of them are going to pass to the turrets. Alright, that'll do. Where are we? Further south than I thought. fishy. The turrets themselves never took damage. Very nice. of a scratch over there. Alright, now we're behind our walls. Let's get our jet back on. Has mining productivity stopped or is it just that slow? It's actually stopped. We're missing space transport belt, we're missing small electric. I can fix that. Pick a dollies for the win. It's not going to give us that much more. Um, I do have disorganized small electrics all over the place up here. But... Better head back up there at some point. Uh, what did I come back for? Mainly poison capsules. How many do we have? A hundred? There should be more in storage now. Another 56. I'll take it. And... Still got plenty of bots. Let's grab some more fuel. And we've cleared, except for that base there, we've cleared this whole section. We've almost finished, actually, getting the yellows out of this area. 
and the commons. That's going to be much easier for our walls to deal with. Alright, back down we go. One more trip and we'll get back to building. And maybe I will make a uh, air filtration block next. It's multiple steps still to make the uh, steel. Oh, let's get our shields on. And poison. And don't run into the biters. Not quite dangerous enough to insta-kill our bots, at least. Lots of reinforcements coming from other places. Oh, this is all yellow. It hadn't updated on the map because we hadn't seen it yet. Okay, then. I think we can finish this off without a, another poison. There we go. No, 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 let me out. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. This is fine. This is fine. You can nav, sc nav set scan some areas around your base, yeah. I just uh, sort of thought they were all... What's the word I'm looking for? Regen biters? Because they are almost the same colour. Oh. It's fine. This is fine. Getting pretty far from the wall as well, so I don't know how necessary this is. Dunsky with this part. And we're done, I think. Fantastic. That is some more multicolored fighters.
all the acidic ones are still alive. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay. Easier to get stuck there than usual. I almost died spamming bot instead of heal as well. One more. There we go. No more spawners here. Alright, so these are... All the ones that we still want to get, actually. What about down here? Same thing. I hope we're pushing them back further than we need to right now. Almost got that mining prod done. Is it still going? It is still going. Soften them up with the poison. Could have been nasty. And on to the next one. rather not go through the Bider army. Let's go back this way. That's a big one. Greetings, Night Dancer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are these? Brutal. I think they spawned the other crab type. Common Vita Nest. But wasn't it a different color? No? Or am I starting to see... Kind of like looking for the different colors of ore in early hard mode Terraria. I'm seeing what I want to see somewhat. more of these, I hope. Nope. Okay. You know what? We're just not going to keep pushing that much further. I think we've probably gone far enough. The common biters are probably not the most difficult for our defenses to deal with. Hmm. 
Lutharian, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. that nest as well. Ow. Imagine dying to common biters. Never live it down. another poison for this last bit. Okay. That'll do for this direction for now. We've also got a few nests down here. And then we'll get back to building. Where are we? I'm tempted to switch out my shields, but it's only going to be a few seconds. Adaptive Armor 3 is getting researched. It's actually... no, it's still going. for everyone. Oh, we're down on bots. There we go. I hope we'll be able to get the uh, uh, destroyer bots without going back to space. Damsel, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream? Or the rest of it, I should say. Boofy? Uh, Wardlord Norm, Attack Silent Storm, good to see you again. I think I missed someone, but I'm a little busy. Uh, let me give it a pause real quick. Hixinator, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Came to see if I'm still a mod? Of course. Why wouldn't you be? Did you, did you think I made you a mod as a joke or something? <laughs> uh, why am I... Oh, it's mostly yellows. I was going to say, why am I attacking regen biters? It's just a few mixed in. 
How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Got a few blocks, uh, got a few more blocks in the rail network. I'm trying to secure Nalvis enough so that I can focus on going to Hagen. And I kind of want Hagen to be like my main base from a relatively early moment in the playthrough. Um, but moving there is easier said than done, especially while not abandoning Nalvis. Uh oh. When did the biters get claws? When we gave it the rampant mod. Uh, these clawed ones are regen biters. They're not very good at attacking our base, but they are much harder to remove. The ones I'm actually trying to kill are yellows, uh, the fast biters. There's also common biters, just like vanilla and purple ones that spawn other biters. They're much more of a threat to our actual base. I'm trying to push them back far enough that they stop attacking as much. Which is not just beyond the pollution cloud. It's actually considerably further than that. I had a Hagen in my last playthrough. I built there. Yeah, I actually thought Hagen was, um... I actually thought Hagen was always here. Uh, because I've always seen it there. I think maybe in your game as well? Uh, I sort of assumed that was Hagen until... In like a uh, in like a sandbox save, I noticed it wasn't Hagen, but it's always an ice planet there, right? With uh, cryonite and no biters, I think, probably. Let's get some more poison capsules out. Oh, I'm out. I've run out of poison capsules. Alright, hopefully we have destroyer capsules next time we attack. This is going to take a little bit longer to dislodge with just the bots, though. How many do I have? A few hundred. Why should this be your new main planet? Uh, a few reasons. There's less gravity than Nalvis, so it's less costly to get resources from the planet to orbit, while still taking advantage of doing production on the planet where you can get productivity bonuses. Uh, it's closer to, like, the exit of the solar system, which means it's closer to everything else. Uh, especially... Well, I mean, it matters for cargo rockets as well, but particularly with spaceships, there's the travel time to consider, not just the fuel cost. Um, particularly since later in the playthrough, I'm going to have a dispatching system at Foenestra, which is, spoilers, uh, it's, anom it's an anomaly that is exactly 10,000 units away from the entry slash exit point of every solar system and everything else like uh, uh, asteroid fields and stuff. So by going to Foenestra and then going to somewhere else, we reduce our travel distance to not that much over 20k, um, no matter where we're going. And it's also just a few minutes of travel in spaceships. Um, so that's going to be huge. Uh, I'm going to use that to sort of offset how much harsher the stack sizes are, and I'm probably going to be stubborn and still, like, Send core fragments back to central, maybe. Uh, some core fragments, you're actually better off. Even without productivity bonuses, you're actually better off transporting them as core fragments. Because the stack size works out better before you break everything down. But not all of them. 
Hey, Marky. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's also the fact that uh, on Hagen we've got access to the entire planet with no biter resistance. Name in base is coming up. I just got to finish what I'm doing here. Maybe I should not try to finish what I'm doing here with just bots. I mean, we did get that nest completely removed, I think. Oh, no, there's a little bit more. It might grow back. There we go. Alright. Let's head back to base, I suppose. Preferably without leading an army back there. I can see you're distracted. Yeah, just a little. Trying to sneak a name in base past me. Hexinator, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Feeling a bit better since uh, a few days ago where I was struggling to talk as much. Uh, what was I... Oh yeah, name and base. M-U-K-K-I-E. Where... I already flew past it, didn't I? How about here? Fantastic. Uh, Kakamix, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Repetitive Beats, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome also. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how many... Capsule... We've got 205 Poison Capsules. Should I wait for the Destroyers, though? We need, like, 150, 400, 500 or so science packs, not counting the productivity bonuses. We're not going to run out, are we? We ran out of small electrics, but we get, oh, actually one belt per small electric. We've got 125 here, so it will run out. We do have some more lying around, but it's a bit of a, it's a little bit of a nuisance to move them into place. Pick a dollies for the win. I don't have this terribly well organized right now. I do actually have another inserter here. Darkfire Phoenix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I need to get myself one of these long emotes. Or combo emotes. I don't know how it would work with a with a T-Rex though. Maybe something else. Uh we were going to maybe uh oh Seaver Cat, thank you for the raid. Speaking of long emotes. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Are we having a long emote face-off? Wait a sec. Wait a sec, what? Uh, we were gonna maybe do... some purification. Soul burn. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, purif... Air purifier. So what does it need again? Ingredient possible inputs. Well, that tells us a lot. Um, is this it? Empty singularity fuel cell? I don't think so. Let's throw down an assembler. Oh, it's filters, isn't it? 
pollution filter, improved pollution filter, that's not happening anytime soon. Finally, a worthy challenger, indeed. We got a train of kittens, that's fantastic. Uh, okay, so we put in pollution filters. Can we get some power? Let's go a bit faster than this. Uh, how about... Some super speed modules. And I can't exactly speed module this, can I? So presumably that gives us used pollution filter. Uh, what was this made of? Plastic, steel, and coal. So, two things I don't have in the rail network yet. You can place several. It gives used, but only in... only 90% of the time. Okay. Hmm. And how do we deal with the used... Pollution filters. 90%... Oh, I see. I thought you meant right at this step. Uh, pollution filter... Yeah, no. Okay, so it always consumes the pollution filter, and 90% of the time we get a used one back. That's fine. Um, so then we need just an assembly machine plus water, and we get it back with dirty water. Okay, then. Should I do all of this in one block? Probably. It's not going to take up the kind of space that I was thinking of. And, uh... Okay, so if we bring in coal, plastic, and steel to start with, it's one to one to one ratio. Can we chain these? Nope. Uh... So we should probably have them in a row, right? Consumption is really, really, really slow. Per hour? 7.5 per hour. And this makes... Well, let's get rid of the super speed modules. Drop it down to a tier 2. Per hour, 270. Um, so the ratio is 1 to 36. Seems reasonable. Um, 36, you say? 6 times 6. That's longer than expected. Whoa, the sound. Don't forget you can clean used filters too. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out with the layout. So we need an input and output inserter um, for all of these. Which is why I'm doing it like this. Unless I think of something better. Or we could do a sushi. Uh, I feel like doing a sushi. It's important to spread them apart. They can only clean the current chunk. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Um, but we'll put them in, like, the middle of where the pollution is. 
um, and it, it'll be like a drain. So instead of this, we have like so. I don't like what it keeps doing with the sound. Snap to grid relative. And something like this. If we have filters on the near side. And used pollution filters on the far side. Could look something like this. Is it used? Oh, restore pollution filter. And then we just have to do the fluid input output. Alright, so one of these, ignoring the recycling, can support 36 of these. Um, can I just right count to double check that? Yeah, oh, it, it's actually taking that into consideration. Wait, no. How is that? Is this 36? Yeah. Hold on. 270 pollution filters per hour. Consumes 270 per hour. So why if I rate calc both of those... It must have been rate calcing this as well, maybe? Alright, so that's theoretically net zero, but we actually get most... Uh, we, we literally get 90% of them back. So... If we convert all of those back into... Um, clean ones... It means we can do 10 times this on one machine. The f filter got destroyed only a small percentage. Yeah, 10% of them we lose. And with random chance like that with Factorio recipes, uh, it does work out to be exact. It's not like, um, it's not like, it's not like you need a sample size of a million to get about 90%. Uh, so how fast... Let's see, 243 per hour, and this can do 270 per hour. Okay. So then the only question is how we fit it together. Um, I obviously want water in and polluted water out, or dirty water, sorry. We can get our water from here. I could even... I don't think I can do this, can I? No, it doesn't work. It doesn't, like directly consume these, that would be a little too easy. However... Three different inputs. I'm tr we've done it before, but I'm trying to think of a more like simple, succinct way that we could do these. What's the ratio? It's exactly one to one to one. Hmm. 
I, I, I literally could just do it something like this. Except we need more room. With the appropriate filters. It should consume from these two equally. So what was it? Coal, plastic, and steel? Steel plate. It's nice and symmetrical. And then... That's loud. Uh, could we put this down here? It's only fluid out as far as we're concerned. So no bulk loaders. Uh, do the large tanks... Not the large tanks, the very large tanks. Yeah, 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 we can use this. They line up pretty well if we only care about having one pump connected to each fluid wagon. Can I? I can't quite fit one on the opposite side if I want the pumps to work directly. But given the shape of this. I could do with the water on this side as well, actually. Something like this. It's one to one, right? Yeah, it's one to one. So we could go for... Check with LTN whether the fluid is arriving or departing. Seems good. I guess this looks a little tidier, maybe? Not really. Not at all, actually. Or maybe like this. Water in, dirty water out. We can do this ten times. Or we could have a sushi belt that fits this ten times. It would have to like zigzag. I think. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, could you not do that with the sound, though? Let's back off a bit. Nope, that didn't help. Okay. Uh, how many is this? It's nowhere near as much as this one machine can support. We will need some room for power poles, though. Um, eventually I'd like to use a pylon substation, but for now it's just going to be regular substations. Let's just not power these up, that way we won't get the noise.
He chose to deliver the filters by a logistic train and not the materials for the filters. Uh, where else are they going to go, though? Filter. I mean, uh, consumption. Yeah. Since we only need one assembly machine to support, like, a huge number of filters, uh, I think this is fine. We probably don't need to worry about being so compact either. Let's just put substations like... 270 per hour. Uh, we can support 10 times this because of the recycling. 36. So we could actually do 360 air purifiers off of one of these machines. That's 10 times this. Can we fit 10 times this? Not even. What's this? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Don't love that. We could maybe stretch it out a bit more. Lolilo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the resub. Two months, fantastic. And about a million gift subs. Thanks. Uh, thank you for that as well. Um, let's go up here. Not that high. I can move this down a bit. And speaking of which, thank you very much for the 10 gifted. Very much appreciated. Thank you. West dude, Vilma, Master Block, Buffy, Popper Wing, Vario, Talon Grandmaster, KNH, Ragnarok, Thonian. Hope you enjoy. Name in base as well? Uh, sure. Name in base. L O L I L O. Whoops. Let's go get that placed. That will not work. You have to scatter the filters around. Uh, it'll work up to a point. Because the pollution in one block... Like, if there's something sucking pollution here, the pollution's going to get sucked into that vacuum of pollution, basically. Um, I am curious to see just how many I can fit in the block... Uh, elegantly, though. Oh, no. Um. Oh, no. What did I just undo? Something somewhere, probably. Let's try that again. Keep thinking I typoed it. There we go. Pollution moves like osmosis? Yeah, a bit. It's like, it's sluggish, but it does. It's like water sink, it starts draining chunks around it, yes. And I'm, I'm actually curious to see if we put all of our filters in one place, just how effective that's going to be. Those are way too much filters at one place, probably. There's a cap to how many is practical, if I remember correctly, since a chunk can only hold so much pollution. Okay, maybe we should design it uh, to use the second half of a block, because I've been building my blocks using up 
one half in case we want to expand it. So maybe we could take advantage of a half block sometimes. Seems like a good idea. I surround my top polluters with filters. Nothing leaves the square. Nice. Simrock, dullest wall. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's a good idea. Then you can place it wherever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. Because I'm not, I'm not going to like double every block that I ever build, right? I'm sure at some point as well, I'm going to be like, oh, I need less than half of another block to meet demand. Another name and base, okay. Pavel Cycle, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just copy paste this so I don't mess it up. Fantastic. Let's do a save in case something happens. Like I find the shortcut to crash the game again. Can you do damsel cooler than my clan? <laughs> right above Mike's? Uh, I guess I have to. Uh, let's just make a... Well, okay, maybe not that many. Let's just make a bunch of these instead of trying to count it this time. So we're going damsel cooler than my clat. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, well we can't have this lost to a random crash. I mean it's not a random crash. I don't know what I was trying, but well, I do know what I was trying to do, but I pressed Control T while I was in the editor mode, and it crashed the game somehow. But it didn't happen at random. Um, how's our science? Stopped? What are we missing? Solid rocket fuel. Uh, we have a bunch of that over here. Let's bring it over. Fantastic. Are we going to run out of anything else soon? Uh, we've only got another uh, 85 or so small electric motors before I have to do this again. Let's just bring this over. Oh wait, I already... No, we've got like... We've got a few more than that. But still. This was a bit dense. To not sort these while I was up here. Can the bots build another one of these? They can. Nice. That should hopefully get us destroyers. Uh, so I was trying to design filters. Alright, let's put it on the opposite side of the block. Um, just do that for now. This goes one, two, three, and then one, two, I think. Fantastic. I like this symmetrical thing right here. And then, oh, yeah, this is why we have to, this is why we have to uh, make a blueprint from scratch whenever we use the bulk loaders. It gets confused about their orientation. So then we're going to put this down here.
seems good. Throw in some substations. Uh, I guess this is going to have to go to the side here. Unless... That might look a little bit neater, but still the substation can't be exactly in the middle. It's fine. Oh, and I just realized uh, this only... I only have to do this when there's a bulk loader or... Yeah, bulk loader in the way. Okay. So we want... How should we go about this? Let's say we do it this way. That's not right. That That's not right at all. And then... Do I want to flip it around is what I'm thinking about. Pipe's not symmetrical on that large tank. Uh, yeah, they're not supposed to be, because this large tank is water, and this large tank is uh, dirty water. And we're going to use LTN's uh, logistic train stop output to detect whether we want to be... Oh, these... This is backward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to detect... That doesn't actually reach, are you serious? No. Alright, how close does it have to be? Big as. It's fine. Not. That's actually horrible. That's actually going to make me very, very sad. Um, the fact that the huge storage tanks are one tile too big to fit cozily here, so that we can just directly pipe, uh, pump like this on the opposite side, very, very disappointing. But what are you going to do? Unless I have a arbitrary power pole here just to connect this. That's it. Tear it all down. Yep. All right. So we're going to say if water is greater than zero, it means we're trying to drop off water. No, wait. If water is less than zero, we get a negative one signal if it's trying to empty it. And then if dirty water... Dirty holmium water, dirty iridium water, dirty water. If dirty water is greater than zero, we're trying to pick it up. Redesign the entire rail network, obviously? Yes. Alright, so this is both a pickup and a drop-off. Um, we're only doing fluids. And we're requesting water. And we'll say 100k. Okay. And I'll just call this water... In, dirty water out. Or how about requester? Chest? 
Dirty water provider. Uh, I guess it's going to be like active provider. To say that it's a high priority to get rid of it, otherwise something is going to something important is going to stop. So provide priority. One hundred. And of course we need to, I just realized this isn't going to reach this, this is a disaster. All right, you know what? We're just going to put the substation in between here. We can probably stretch this up here. The sound though. So then, like this, red wire across here, green wire across here. I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen when we switch to using substations, uh, pylon substations. Definitely don't need to think about that, not ever. This is fairly neat though, the uh, fluid stuff. So how many is this? It is only three as opposed to ten. It's like 30% of what this machine can support. Um, can we move it over one more tile actually? Something like this. T Hacks, did you have a chance to look at my source priority trains demo? Ele oh my goodness. That was extra. Uh, can we. You know what? Can we just get rid of the, uh, the power supply until we're designing. until we're done designing this? Have a chance to look at my uh, source priority trains demo. It allows you to uh, not to delete resources. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The problem with uh, having to delete resources is you've run out of storage space. But uh, no, not in detail, not yet. I did see it on the Discord with like the three, I think it was three? Yeah, like the three outputs. Well, I guess it's not an output, you know what I mean. No, wrong. Are, are we supposed to just keep building storages until the end of time, depending on how long the playthrough goes? What is that? Uh, what is what? This thing? Filters? Air purifiers? A bien lay. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Have the filters changed or are you misunderstanding? Have the filters changed? What are we talking about? Uh, okay, so... We're gonna want a belt here either way. They work chunk based. Yeah, but if you empty the pollution in the chunk that you're in, the pollution from the nearby chunk, uh, like, is gonna flow into it. Like a fluid. All right, so then if this, this only outputs, if it's going to be on the near side, that's fine. That's fine. And then is this going to be wrong or 
Nope, that's good. It's on the near side all the way through. And then over here, I could just do long arms. Because otherwise I'm going to have to add two more of these and it's not going to fit very well. Or, wait, we have room here, actually. Except it doesn't fit so well with the substations. Let's just do it like this. Um, so I want to take from that belt and I want to put clean filters on that side, actually. Like north, south, etc. So you're going to put them on the outsides of your base. The first one I'm going to put more or less in the middle. One off, right? My main source of ores is core fragments, but if base doesn't consume an exact fragment processing ratio, you delete resources illegally. I supplement one ore production vanilla ore mining. So you artificially stop mining? Or you have ways to convert it with the mod set. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. So let's pretend... Let's just double check a couple of things. I'm not going to run the whole thing as a simulation. But let's say we have some water here. That's not water. Not even a little bit. It's going to fit in unused half city blocks. Yeah, that as well. Because usually I'm using the first half of the city block in case I want to expand. So I'm designing this to fit in the second half. Well, I'm excited. T-Hex knows. Okay. Oh, you could integrate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're doing. Um, all right, so water. And like 50%. I guess it doesn't matter, actually. Um... What was I going to do? I was going to bake some used filters, partly because it would take ages to make them, partly because we don't want that noise. And I guess once I power it up, we're going to get that noise anyway. All right, let's, um, let's see if we can't like back off. Oh, right. Uh, I just realized... I'm gonna want to exclude this rail from this blueprint. Because we don't want to, like, block... We don't want to block the placement of bulk rail loaders. Alright, fine, I'll put the wind turbines back. I don't want them to be missing from the blueprint later. Actually, where did I put them? Like this. It's only when they all start or stop at the same time that it's a problem, actually. All right, so we have our used filters. And in they go on the other side. Fantastic. Oh, this is... Yep, there it is. Uh, and this one, we'll just double check. Infinity chest... Uh, 
super speed module, perhaps? Do I not have them? Yeah. Alright. That should be fine. I could add more, obviously, but I just want to see how this goes. So, because we do have some bulk loaders in here, we need to start from scratch to make a blueprint. 86.24 is the offset. And now we can do the rest. Filter. How about purifier? Air purification half block. And I should have given train stop names. I guess I won't worry about it. Sim, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Your smart owl, not million years old lizard? Wow. Okay. I see how it is. And let's put it in here. Uh, and where would be a good place to start? Probably where our copper is. Oh, we're consuming, we're polluting. Hmm. For the full effect, I really need it to be, like, at the center of the pollution cloud, but I guess if we do it here, we'll be able to see it working. The same goes for this. Uh, let, let's do it at somewhere inside our existing pollution cloud. That should have the most dramatic and obvious effect. It would probably help if I had automated air purifiers as well. I think this goes here. Let's do that right now, actually. Um, purification, purification. How many did I do? 36 times 3? Let's go 150. And I think I have Crafting Combinator set to be a bit slower to respond for UPS reasons. There we go. They're actually quite quick and easy to make. Well, when we're using an auto crafter, they're definitely easy. Alright, let's grab this and see if our blueprint fits. Fantastic. Uh, and let's build what we can while we're here. Actually, let's swap out the combat stuff. Robot ports go. Uh, we're not going to have the super speed modules, though. <laughs> and probably go ahead and remove the cheaty stuff from the blueprint. I guess I'm not carrying nearly enough yellow belt either. Or yellow inserters for that matter. Crunch, crunch, crunch. It's good, isn't it? I guess rail blueprint book at Factorio Prints. Uh, I don't know if I've published this yet. I could do it right now. Export to string. That took a moment. Uh, I'll do it on the Discord first, since that's nice and quick. Uh, okay. Discord wrapped its pants for just a moment, but that's all right. SE plus K2 book so far. 
and I'll give it a little a little graphic um, whatever this will do let's crop that That book is clearly quite big, this one. We're just getting started. Uh, well, you can probably ignore that one. Got a few random things in here as well. Good morning, Yatuwatu. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How do you go between creative planning and the game so quickly? There's a mod called Editor Extensions, uh, and if you want your like regular game to have that that you can switch to, you need to go to Mod Settings per player, and it is this setting right here, Testing Lab. Just set it to something other than Off. And under the tooltip, it'll tell you that you should probably switch this off as well, if you don't want to cheat. Uh, but yeah, the mod is called Editor Extensions, and you need to go into Mod Settings per player. Jamot, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Thanks, you're welcome. Um, what was I coming back here for besides Yellow Belt? And a bunch of yellow inserters. Yellow belt. I think that's about it, honestly. Oh, we need the actual air filters. Uh, yeah. Are they not here? We've been making them. Oh, here they are. 52, that's a good start. That was my dilemma, but... Oh, I see. Hold on. Catherine of Sky, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to say that I really enjoy your content. My BF Yam Yaman introduced me to your channel, and while I rarely catch you online, I watch a lot of your VODs. Great content. Thank you. I saw some of your stuff quite a long time ago. I thought it was nice. Alright. We've got enough to get started here. I don't think I'm carrying any plastic. We don't have coal... Uh, uh, sorry, we don't have plastic or steel in the rail network yet, but I'd kind of like to see a little demo. Give it a little hand delivery first. How close are we to the water? Relatively? We could maybe... Steal some water from over here instead of making a train for it yet. I think the rate that we're going to go through water with this is uh, pretty slow. Yeah, 3.7 per second. So we could do that with trains if we want. Uh, where did my offshore pump go? Here we are. Should probably plan this. This is water, right? This is water. through here. Damn it. I think I had to hold shift to make that work. There we go. And of course it's one off of perfectly lining up with one of these. Uh, I could bring it up one actually. Get it done. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Really appreciate your chill narration style. Thank you. 
just sidge a piece oh use a piece of dirt nah oh wait i do have nice fill so that is actually a bit more makes a bit more sense where's my offshore but i kind of want to just make this line up pick a dollies to the rescue We even need to kill that. Perfect. I'm loving the long underground pipes. I guess I could have used steel pipe. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, and this needs power now. Uh, you know what? Just have a... Have a what? Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Have a wind turbine. It also needs a power pole, though. Alright, we got our water. Uh, I'm gonna grab a bunch of coal and plastic and just drop it in there. Stuff's getting damaged. We didn't push the fast biters back far enough. But I knew that at the time. Been watching T Hex for 10 months, he's chill. He said fuck only once. <laughs> Make it twice, I guess. No, damsel, you're not a bad influence. Uh, it was Terraria, wasn't it? Something really sudden and harsh with a boss fight or something. I think it was uh, Calamity, one of the more difficult, relatively early bosses, right? What was I coming for? Plastic and coal. Just give me a few stacks. Maybe not that much, because I need the same amount of coal. I had to wash my ears? <laughs> wow. We're almost done researching destroyers. We've run out of nothing, actually. Fantastic. I should have got more filters. But more importantly... And steel. There we go. And then we should hurry up and actually get steel and plastic in the rail network. Uh, I should give it more steel as well. But more to the point, uh, air purifiers, fantastic. You know what? Give me several stacks of steel. That should be super overkill, I imagine. Even though this thing can produce way more than this can consume, uh, it is going to take a while before we get our air purifiers going at speed. Mic mute? Wait, what? What do you do after a mucky stream then? <laughs> Take a cold sh I mean, nothing. I can hear you? Okay, cool. I might have muted myself to cough for a second or something. Alright, where are we? Uh, we've got our filters sort of temporarily working. What's missing here? Infinity loader. I don't think we can build those. Uh, and I wanted to work towards steel next. 
once we get Destroyer researched... Yeah. Once we get Destroyer researched, I'll do some more killing of biters. But... Now I want to try... We need to make coke. I'll do that next to the wood. Maybe set the production for destroyers up already. Uh, the thing is, it'll jam up the... Uh, whatchamacallit. The autocrafter. Actually, if I want to make them at scale, I sh probably shouldn't use the autocrafter. There's like, how many steps? We have to make destroyers, then distractors, then... Sorry, defenders, then distractors, then destroyers. But it's really just adding one more component each time. It gets slower and slower to make it. No, it's just like 15 seconds for the next two steps. Yeah, maybe I could uh, do some belt input for that one. Oh, that's the that's the old block. That's a bit big. T hacks. Did you have a break? Uh, I did have one break, and you are, you do have a point. It may be getting close to time for the next one. Can we maybe get coke first? Oh, that sound. No. Bad. Uh, alright. So, let's remove this. And... I should probably... put this up here, because I keep... I keep, like, right-click, right-click. Yeah, that's kind of... fits a bit better. Robots rip? Oh no. Oh no, I did rip the robots, didn't I? And whatever they were carrying. How many do I have left? Ten. So I think we lost 40 bots. No. <laughs> yeah, you gotta... Yeah, well, they're not dead. They've just been... They've gone to a better place. That is to say, they've gone to the land of infinite resources that we can't access. Uh, thank you for your service, robots. Enjoy the rest of your lives. Uh. So what are we making? Coke. We need wood plus coal, if I recall. And it happens in a furnace. We can't do it in a industrial furnace. So we'll go for electric. I've already got them, actually. Build them a home? Right. Uh, super Robopot. Does it have room? Yeah, it does. So why are they still floating? Or are they just taking turns to go to the charges? That's kind of weird. Oh, they don't have storage. Uh, infinity storage chest. Go. There we go. Place a memorial RoboPort for them. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to copy this layout, probably. Not this one. This layout, maybe? What's the rate going to be like, actually? If we do, like, 48 of these, research is done. Uh, 36 per second, that's not that much. Even with modules later on, we can probably do whatever we like. Uh, with the... I think I want to copy this one. 
kind of like that layout. All right, we'll start. What are we researching right now? We should have at least several hundred more signs before we have to go up there. Lab research speed? Not really. I'm more concerned about the physical resources. Immersium. Rare metals, fine immersite powder. Well, we don't have that available to us right this second. Artillery? Energy weapon damage would help. We'd get more out of our personal laser turret. But that's 400 compared to artillery, which is going to be a lot more helpful. I think it's time to get artillery. We should be able to finish it before we go back up. Back upstairs. What, funeral? Oh no. Oh, that's a... Uh... I kind of need to see this, actually. Da, da, da. <laughs> da, okay. Da, da. All right. Rip bots. Or, but they didn't die though. Are you running base one science, or have you added multiplier? Uh, I've got some prod modules up here, if that's what you mean. That electric boiler can turn water ice into water? I know, right? I was surprised as well. I don't know if this is new in point six. I think it might have been. Uh, but yeah, electric boiler. You don't need this freaking biochemical facility just to melt some ice. Like, Mike is doing 10 by size. Oh yeah, no, I don't... Honestly, I don't see the point. <laughs> that just seems like... Needlessly painful? OMG, right? I might use that on some spaceships later because... Well, because obviously... So much smaller. Alright, um, I think this will be a good spot for a break actually, now that Veldek has... Planted the idea in my brain. Uh, kinda need one anyway. So small, right? Research the battle robot count? I don't think I can right now. Can I? Oh, I can. It's another 800, though. We do get... We do go from 30 to 40. That is not insignificant. But I definitely want the artillery more. Space elevator times 10. Goodness gracious. Uh, all right, let's get some words on stream. Uh, I mean, we've already got words on stream set up. We're continuing at level... Seven? Veldak is pleased. I'm doing two by signs. That's bad enough. Yeah, it is. All right. We'll start in about 30 seconds. Words on stream. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
rigged. Alright, at least one more, let's go. Okay, let's continue, shall we? Uh, I saw someone asking about the blueprint book. Uh, lucky I caught it, I wouldn't normally see it in all the chat spam for words on stream. But yeah, I, I had gotten distracted or something right before I was adding a little graphic to make it easy to find. So I've just put that in the Discord for now. All right, so words on stream is hidden. Fantastic. Where were we? Uh, we were accidentally deleting bots. We were trying to figure out how to do coke. Well, not how to do coke, but a good layout for it. I believe this is so easy for the native speakers. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's not necessarily easy, especially... There's a lot of variance in how difficult uh, a given level of words on stream is. Like that level 7 was rigged. I am German, it's a bit hard. Yeah, I can imagine. Good practice though. I guess, kind of. Alright, so we're looking at uh, probably the same layout as, uh, what was it, small electric motors? That was two in, one out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small electric... Motor? Uh, not small electric motor, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, this is placed slightly wrong. We'll deal with it. Uh, single cylinder engines, rather. Feels quite a bit like crosswords, for sure. Even with that game in German, my brain is not optimized for that. Definitely, some people are better, that, better at that than others. I'm not particularly good at it, I don't think. Oh, this is not... This is not what we're trying to do right now. Uh, we want electric furnaces, not a recipe for electric furnaces. Uh, 
and it's laid out in such a way that we could add beacons later and wide area beacons even later than that. So we're going to do coke. Well, I say wide area beacons, but it's actually just going to be one wide area beacon. But also, if we want to add the smaller beacons, we could do six of those. Okay, so this is wood and coal. Uh, I'm going to swap iron for wood. And gear for coal. And... That should basically be it, I think. Let's put in some... Oh, that's why! That's why we keep getting stuff left on the ground. Because it changes our inventory size when we jump out of the editor. Okay, so I just need to get rid of a bunch of stuff. Get out of my inventory, please. Thank you. Alright, so we want some coal and wood for testing purposes. Whoops, but whatever. As long as it's there. And we'll want to limit it. Coal, less than... You know what? It doesn't even matter. Wood. That should be more than sufficient. Let's just double check the rate. Uh, it's only 36 per second for both coal and wood. It, in fact, everything is 36 per second. So a bit more than one red belt. Um, I'm sure if we throw modules in later on, that'll still be fine. Also, how is this working? But this isn't? Oh, I see. It actually met the conditions that it was going for. Already. Alright, substation around about here. Work in imaging, but the first thing I saw was gaming. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of there. Uh, and then this doesn't line up because the placement was slightly wrong on that other blueprint. This is going to go here. This is going to go here. And that will do. Alright, so we're requesting... Uh, what's the stack size? 150. So probably like twice as much coal as wood. Should be fine if we go 10k wood, 20k coal. Negatives, because LTN wants to push things towards zero, so that's how we request something. Coal and wood requester, and we are using 
electric furnaces to make coke. Yeah, I like this naming convention. And then coke pickup. Coke provider if you like. Wait, what? We're not doing any fluids, so we don't need that request threshold or provide threshold. That should be it. Wouldn't you just ask for 10k wood and 10k coal since it's raw numbers? Or does LTN work differently than I remember? Uh, I'm just going for the same number of stacks of each, but significantly more than enough that it won't run out. Actually, yeah, 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 that's fine. Scrub Heat, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The real gold hand, welcome, welcome also. Greenhouse blueprint in place already? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Alright, so because we can't use, like, copy and then select new contents for blueprint, because the bulk loaders do weird things if you copy paste, if you, like, undo, redo, or if you do this, uh, they get rotated. So we're going to start from scratch. 8624 is our offset for snap to grid absolute. Train stop names, yes please. Oak. And we're going to call this basic oak. And remove the infinity chests. And remove the super inserters. Okay, fantastic. Let's go here. Salford Sal, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Still making lovely buildings and stuff? Why can't I? Oh. I got so used to the editor mode that I was wondering why I couldn't move around fast. And it's because I have legs. Power for the... Rosida station? Uh, did I just... Oh, the provider station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure I missed a power pole there. Let's just... Put this down first. I'll need to go get some electric furnaces, I think. Damn legs, right? Lovely stream, thanks. I'm making a monument to chat at the moment. Oh. Is it, uh... What does this monument evoke? And robots. Oh yeah, I need more robots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a monument to robots we're talking about. I mean, a monument to robots is good too. I, for one, welcome our new robot overlords. Alright, so this is going to be... Oak. We need a storehouse. Don't have anything in my inventory to handcraft it. Because I gave the steel to the filters. We've got a good few of them running already. Can we see the difference? Oh, wow. Yeah, we can already see a significant difference in the pollution around here. Okay, so we need rail, red belt, a lot of electric furnaces. And that's pretty much it, I think. Skipsy, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Infinity Simplex, welcome, welcome also. Welcome, Raiders, indeed. 
All right. Uh, are we good for the moment? I could make some rail, but I think it's easier if we just go back. Although it would get a bunch of stone out of my inventory forever. The Moogie, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I don't think I have a request for electric furnaces. Uh, actually, I know exactly where they are, so we don't need to trouble the bots with those right now. Because it's part of science. Or is it part of science? Yeah, it is. I just don't have it in a box. Huh. I'm a little surprised I don't have it in a box. How many do I need? We're looking at... 48. Gimme, gimme. Perfect. Early stages of... Oh, no. Wait, where am I going? Flew a bit too far. So we got rail, we got red belt, not that much red belt. Um, it's probably way more than we need. And we've got the furnaces. Sleep paralysis demons? Are we referring to chat? Something else. Did you remember bots? I did not. But I think I have them auto-delivered. Yeah, I do. Depends on if the... To what extent the logistic bots were able to keep up. I don't want to deal with the bot interference wind at this point, so I've only got 50 of them. Oh, and we need a storehouse still. Rip. I don't have steel anywhere in the rail network yet. Has artillery been at... Oh, I just saw it go from 19 to 20%. Fantastic. Give to me a storehouse... I only want to pick up one because inventory space. How many bots do we have? Uh, I don't know. Where are they? Oh, I'm lost. Robots. Here we go. We've got 42. That's not that bad. Alright, we don't have coal here yet for some reason. It is on the way. It looks like there's a bit of a... No path? Apparently we didn't get this signal right. Oh... Oh, the train is in the intersection. Okay. What if I just... Nope, that makes it the same block. Uh, wait, no it doesn't. Uh, normally, if you use chain signals where there's a train station... The train will stop if it's stopping at the train station. So if I remove these two signals, and this becomes one block, and we can go in this way and out this way, why is this train still upset, actually? Oh, did I... I think we're going to have to go over there. 
I don't think the train can physically go to that track. That could be it. So I need to move the track back. So before we get there, let's cancel that deconstruction. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to have to ask you to back up. And... How about we put this here instead? And like so. Fantastic. Let's see how quickly this low... Wow, that is... That is pretty fast. And I'll ride this one back. We may need a couple more signals if we want train throughput here to be a bit faster. But I'm not overly concerned about it right now. Train station too short, yep. I'm surprised how much demand there is for coal, but it's probably because I'm not putting train limits on things. Alright, so that's our coke. We've got coke and iron plate in the rail network, which means it's time to do steel. And I'll probably do that right here, to be honest. Or maybe done. Obviously not here, this is where we're extracting some mineral water. Which reminds me, we didn't get started with core mining. Which is going to give us some mineral water that we'll have to deal with. Um, why don't we make a start on that? I think I want steel first, honestly. Core mining is going to be a trickle for a while. Alright, Roboport off, just to be sure. There's nothing here we're trying to build. And make another block here. So we can do it in industrial furnaces, right? Yes, we can. Coal and iron. All right, I'm going to steal from myself. Uh, I will have to borrow the double input that we just used, though. Not that one. Although, that is cool. What are the bot- uh, bots? Biters. What are the biter bots up to? Slowly scratching away at our walls still. Alright, so I want... Probably this exact layout. Is that in the middle? Yes, it is. But we're make but we're making steel. Once again, we can fit this all under a wide area beacon, or we can give it. Uh, regular beacons at some point. Uh, and for the input, I want to borrow this thing again. Seems good. I wish the wires didn't have to be so... No, oh, I guess they don't. We've got wire connections over here. Alright, so what are we requesting? Uh, steel and 
sorry, iron plate and coke. This is already iron plate, so let's make this one coke. What's the stack size? 50? Um, it's about 6,000. Okay. And then this should be coke. So we're requesting iron plate, coke, where is the coke? And we're making steel in an industrial furnace. Fantastic. How much should we ask for? Uh, I mean, it, it'll... There's room for eight train loads here. It'll be fine if we just go for like two train loads of each or so. So iron plate, um, eight thousand. If we're using two cargo wagons, about sixteen k for two train loads. So what I used to have is my one train load, and then coke is half of that. The ratio for input... Oh, the coke is actually a lot less. Okay. How rapidly do we consume iron plate here? 90 per second? We could maybe bump this up to like three train loads just to be sure. Pad Trim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so this should be set up. As should this one. Steel provider. Seems good. And I almost have it memorized. I want to say 126 and 84. I feel like some of those final digits are going to be backward. No, it's 86 and 24. Okay. 86... 24 for the offset. Uh, steel plate. Basic steel. And add it to the collection. There might be a wire or power pole missing or something. But other than that, that should be it. And away we go. That steel seems very small. Well, we can easily double it. Without adding another block. I'm a little concerned at how often the biters are attacking. Uh, I guess we need to push them back a bit further still. I need to go back for a few more furnaces. Maybe put pollution absorbers next to steel. Uh, the pollution from steel will get there eventually. But... I I'm still waiting to see... Like, I, I want to run this for a while and see what it looks like. Especially when we've got... Once we've got all of these uh, running... We've got, like, almost two-thirds of it now. Actually, why are some of these ones still? Oh, because we've run out. Oh, I never actually set up the request for this yet, because we didn't have the steel or plastic yet. Um, so it's one to one to one, but coal has a smaller stack size. We've got tons of room. We can just say, like, two train loads of each. Coal. Uh, 
plastic. It's stack size 100, right? Yeah. That's probably pretty excessive, actually, considering how slow this is. But we don't want it to wait until it's run out, so we'll do like a train load and a quarter. Oh, 16k isn't one train load. 8,000. Let's go. Let's go 12,000. One and a half trains. Uh, let's see. Two, four, six. And steel plate. And we're going to name this. Terana? Probably not. Coal. Plastic and steel. Requester. Uh, and we're not making anything. I'm just going to put a filter. All right. Switch that on. We should get our coal. We're going to run out of plastic and steel soon enough. This is the first LTN design I've seen where I can see a true advantage of LTN compared to vanilla stations. The multi-stations? Yeah. You can do multi-stations sort of with vanilla, but it's clunky to say the least. Wait, am I making a storehouse? Yeah, I am. I need more red belt and furnaces. Is there no limit on copper train? Unloader seems to be full. I think that was from something I manually fixed earlier, and I'm just leaving this train here to get emptied. Uh, however... There's no... Hmm. I was going to say there's no demand for copper, but I did add small electric motors? Or did did I not get to that yet? I don't think I added them yet. Uh, Lolilo, thank you very much again for the 10 subs. Gifted subs, much appreciated. Love the content and your ideas. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will endeavor to keep delivering. And yeah, I think I was thinking... Oh, no, here it is. No, we've got small electric motors. We've got a lot of small electric motors, so... I think that was probably enough copper consumed. Oh, you can actually see that it's empty because the, sh the size of the icon gets smaller because it's only coming from the bulk rail unloader. Yeah, once again, thank you so much, Lolo. Lo Lilo. Um, so what's the deal here? 40k copper. Stack size 50. Is 800 stacks. And we've got... Uh, 640 plus 96. Well, there's your problem. Because we made this a small, a, a strong box. I think it was a larger container earlier, but supposedly large containers are not as good for UPS. Alright, let's drop this down to like 30k. And that should prevent this from happening again. Once we actually consume this much copper, the train will leave. Oh, and we've already got 4.5k dirty water to deal with. We are about 2% of the way to needing to have something to deal with this. There's more, there's one more waiting. There is indeed. Well, we'll just have to consume some copper somehow. Alright, um, what was I trying to do? Steel. 
We've got the industrial furnaces. I've got some more red belt. I should probably pick up a bit more red belt than this. Luxury problem, right? Time to make some extra modules. Uh, we can only add one thing to the rail network at a time. We'll get there. Especially with, uh, with modules, I want to do a bot build because, well, I suppose with the large containers, we could substitute that for a bot network, actually. But an auto crafter is nice for the modules. The last playthrough, I did my module builds in space because the uh, space manufactories are super fast. I just meant modules consumes a ton of circuits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Um, how's our power, speaking of things that modules affect? The 2.7 gigawatts is a lie, because we've got a steam battery. And it's... the storage is so insane that it is still gaining storage. Um, let me just disconnect it temporarily. We've actually got 340... Oh, it's climbing, because solar. Let's call it 350 megawatts. Cake is a lie. You'll have to go to Damsel Stream for that one. Um... Why was this not built? Probably because I copy-pasted it and missed something. Because I was trying not to copy something else. And then... Let's turn tree x-ray on. Much better. Uh, what seems... Oh, there we go. I was wondering why this train wasn't moving. It was actually just finishing up unloading. Alright, so we're looking for iron and coke. There must be iron about to be delivered. Yeah, 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 there it is. I'm really glad I went for the smaller trains just to do something different. Because I'm loving how quickly they accelerate. It's still a pretty large amount of throughput. Um, absolutely loving the bulk loaders and unloaders. And I feel like this is a good balance between being able to have high throughput, but also we have less spiky production from things waiting on trains later on. Did I not get the coke coming out of this? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't change this one. Well, there's your problem. What happens if you put portal through another portal? I actually saw a really good, like, troll science. I guess that's not quite right. Um, the joke was, or the question was, you, you aim a portal gun at let's say your TV, or some kind of surface that you can pick up, and then you... I might be misremembering it slightly. No, I think this is it. You take the portal that's on the surface and chuck the surface at another portal. At, at the opposite portal. What then? All right, that's our steam. Now we need plastic. Plastic is a problem because I don't have uh, fluids in the rail network at all yet. Where's our nearest oil? Because I'd like to start... It, instead of tapping into the oil we've already got, it's feeding the main bus base, um, I would kind of like to tap into another one. But 
I'm not seeing anything very conveniently located with a decent amount. Black hole, maybe. Ouroboros? Ouroboros. Oh, here we go. Here's some oil. Hmm. I don't think we're going to build, like, rail blocks around here. At least not for a while. Uh, we're going to get crude oil from the... from the coal mining as well. I should probably hurry up with that. I need to start mining this, uh, rare... Raw rare metal out of the way as well. And I need to go do something about the... Oh, I didn't even notice. We've got destroyer capsules now. Uh, I should hurry up and make a production chain for those. Preferably not just using the autocrafter, although it has caught up with everything. What's the worst that could happen? Well, we've already got... Bender capsules here. Um, the bots will bring the defender capsules. So what if we go distractor capsules? And then destroy her capsules? What are we going to be missing here? Nothing. Destroyer is going to need basic speed module. I don't know if that's in the network, but we're already making it. It's in the network. Well, now it's in the network. So yeah, we could maybe just use the auto crafter for that. Um, three advanced circuits, three def uh, four defenders. We're mass producing those already. We're already mass producing speed modules. Four distractor capsules per destroyer capsules is not that many. I think we could probably just do it this way. It can queue two recipes and not the third that is needed for those two. Uh, what do you mean by that? How is pollution doing with the filters? Good question. Yeah, there's a nice hole. There's, there's trees here as well, that's helping. Uh, but there's a nice hole in our pollution cloud. It's sucking up any pollution that goes there. If we could have got it more in the middle of our pollution cloud, we could get a more dramatic uh, improvement from just one block. It's taking its sweet time getting all of them to be in motion at the same time. Uh, but this thing will be able to keep up. We don't have any more plastic, though. So we want to hurry up with that. Alright, so that's our destroyer capsules. Artillery... Uh, we can definitely do that with the autocrafter. Maybe not the shells. I mean, we can do it with the shells, but it'll be slow. Filters clean the chunk in which they sta uh, stand. Yes, and then because there's no pollution here, the pollution from nearby flows into it. Uh, unless there's not that much pollution. Now, pollution is very... In most places, it's very uh, thin compared to, like, a late game base. We could put some... We could do a sideways one here. If we wanted to put filters here, right next to the mine, that might be a good idea. Anyway, uh, before I get too distracted, what was I heading down this way to do? Before I noticed the research? Oh, coal mines. We want to get our first coal mining drill going. Why 
Luckily the biters can't fly, or this one would feel really vulnerable. I also want to add um, trees to the rail blocks. I'll be curious to see just how much of an impact that can have on pollution. Probably not a whole lot. Not the way I've laid it out, anyway. Alright, so I don't think we're ever using this block. Or even if we do. Whoops. That can actually fit in there quite cosily. But for now... I think we'll just do some rail... Actually, I'll do some rail this way. So that if we ever, like, landfill around here and expand this, um, that's just going to fit nicely. Fighters should rush towards your base each time you launch the rocket. Oh. Uh, I should get rid of this rail for a second, actually, because placing the loaders correctly can be a bit of a nuisance. That's why we have this blueprint. And we're just going to do belt. How fast is this going to be? 19.5 per second. It's a start. Let's go... Underneath these down this way, and then loader like soda, fantastic bit of wire connecting to the logistic train stop input. This the station is called Damage. Okay, standard pickup. And that's it. But if we want to, we can name it. Or Fragment Provider. We'll also need some power, of course. I can't get both of those powered with one big power pole, can I? Nope. And the drill itself. Uh, we can't circuit wire the drill, but what we can do is just block the... Uh, the drill actually has zero power consumption if it's not... It's got no minimum power consumption, so what we can do very easily to make sure it doesn't kill our power. If I had an accumulator handy, which I don't. Uh, why don't we go get one, I suppose. A little bit weird that I'm not carrying batteries. Uh, battery. One stack. And where are we making them? Here they are. Spaghetti. How are the biters do? Okay, okay, okay. Drop everything. This is why I spend the amount of time I do killing the biters. And not to be underestimated with this mod. Uh, let's see. I've got bots, I've got poison capsules, I've got med kits. I've got a decent amount of fuel. It'd be nice if we had the destroyer capsules before this. Oh, wow. I take back everything I said about the, uh, regen biters not... Well, okay, no. I was going to say I take back the regen biters are bad at attacking. 
it's more that they were supported by spawn abiders as well. And now we've got no laser damage here because the power is cut. Where... where oh my goodness. That... That's disturbing. Wow. Okay. Um... Alright. I guess... I guess we have to clear down here as well? What is that flickering? Nope. Nope. Is it my imagination or was something like flickering? Nope, indeed. That makes me physically sick. Oh no. Where are the purples coming from? Because they were instrumental in breaking the wall there. I don't see them. Okay, this lot are attacking. That could have been them. There's purples over here. That's probably it. Okay. Um... There's a lot of biters on the way, so I think I have to... Yeah. I think I have to prioritize repairing first. Let's get it done. I think I have enough walls on me to fix this. I don't have any gun turrets, though. Can I handcraft a few? I can. I think I can handcraft enough to replace it all. What about laser turrets? I don't have any. So we're going to have to make a little trip back anyway. But I can't leave for very long. just get the bots to do their thing as much as they can. Alright. We need to fend off a wave and then quickly rush back. Rocket launch is strong though. And I guess no rest just yet. Is this our chance? I think this is it. Let's go triple jetpack. And we need gun turrets and laser turrets. I don't know necessarily where I have them. I don't think I built the laser turrets with belts, did I? I'm sure I did gun turrets. Yeah, here they are. And laser turrets should be in here, I think. Uh, laser turret. There's 255. Laser turret. Go. Give me 100. Where, where are the bots bringing them from? They're bringing me everything else first. That's not what I want to see. Do we have the laser turrets on? Oh, here they are. Okay. Let's just grab them manually and go. I think Brampit has reached the next step of evolution. Probably. Probably. We should have artillery in the relatively near future. Alright, robot ports. I have no inventory space. Go. There. 
they are coming. Not as bad as before. Next time we shell them? Yeah, unless I have to go to space before I can... You know what? We don't need sentinels anymore. Not really. Uh, unless I have to go to space to fix the artillery uh, research. We have run out of steel here. Do I have some more? Or is that actually it? I'm, I'm sure there's some steel up here. There is. But it's going to be a bit of a nuisance. I'm going to have to go up there, really. Oh, we've got some steel here, actually. Wait, then what? LDS steel, small electric. We've still got, like, 150, 190 or something. We're not going to get the artillery finished without more of this nonsense. Anyway. Uh, do we have a chance to attack now? I think we do. Should probably add some more laser turrets, though. It's mostly down south a bit, but I want to be thorough. Should probably get some flamethrower turrets down here, but that's not something I can do super quickly. Oh, here we are. Okay, that's actually looking super effective. We got some time. Might have to add some power production after this. Alright. First thing I want to hit is the purples, because I think they're the reason that our back was broken. Let's see how many destroyers we've got. Wait, what? Oh, we're still making distractors. How many distractors do we have? 26. We're halfway to meeting the threshold before we start making destroyers. Um, can I make... Assembly 3s? I can. I'll speed it up a bit more when I get back. So this will be the final time that we use Defender Capsules. Oh, is that massive? Yes, it is. That's nasty. Oh, hello. Wait, wait, what? no, I should observe this. We'll see how... The lasers are really strong against these guys, it seems like. Yeah, I think we're fine. Oh, here come the purples. I need to see exactly how effective our wall is at the moment. They're also attacking at lots of different spots as well. Well, they weren't smart enough to hit at the same time. Or well, lucky enough. But yeah, this seems okay for the moment. Let's try and cut them off at the source. Oh, 
Do we have another nest here still? Yep. Uh, actually, I think if I'm going to attack regen biters, I'd rather not bother with the defenders because they just die and they don't do a lot of damage. What about poison? Poison's still good. It's not going to soften them up as much, though. Just got to be careful with my frail body. Dodge that shot. Kill it with fire. You might want to distract biters. Yeah, well, they're super slow. I can just lead them away and then hit from somewhere else. These ones are very weak to fire. What's their resistance? Negative 59.5% fire resistance. They deal tons of damage though, so you gotta watch out for that. Uh, I do have the new shields already. And they're not... Oh, I don't know how to make lithium sulfur batteries yet. Or rather, I just haven't set it up. Wow. They really die easily to fire. But there's so many of them. Alright, um, I'm focusing on the wrong thing. It's the purples that make the difference when it comes to attacking the base. Let's go get him. Oh, not quite that aggressively. Did I forget? No, I didn't forget a name in base. I just made too many text plates, didn't I? As far as I remember. Fling the bots through the base. Not as effective as I thought it would be. Pretty good though. One down. Maybe six to go. Massive AoE damage over time is effective against enemies that spawn lots of tiny enemies. Would have thought. Why are some spawners different color? Because they give, uh, they spawn different types of fighters. Uh, or do you mean within the same set? Uh, it's a little... Uh, some of them spawn giant worms, I've noticed. Oh, that's scary. 
There we go. I mean dark purple. Yeah, um, I'll try and mouse over it so you can see next time. Uh, but I'm pretty sure some of them are described as things like behemoth worm spawner or something like that. Spitter nest. Spitter nest. They, yeah, they all spawn different types. Like, more granular than just the purple type, for example. But I think the weirder colored ones, like this, here we go. Spawner Hive Worker T3, Hive Champion, Grunt T4. I'm not sure, actually. I would actually have to, like, look it up. If the, uh, if the mod tells you. But I have seen some of them that explicitly are for spawning big worms. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Really bad terrain for the biters here. I must have gotten a bullet damage upgrade that I forgot about at some point, because I'm sure it wasn't easy to clear these things with just uh, defenders earlier on. What is this? Oh, it's fast. Okay. I think it looks... I think color theory is in action here. It looks like it's a different color... ...than the fast spitters that I... Uh, fast biters that I'm used to. Making short work of these bases now, at least? Yeah. I'm really glad I left, uh... ...biter expansion off. We'd just be spending the entire... Like, the first half of the playthrough would be getting off of Nalvis. Unless I wanted to abandon Nalvis, which I think would actually be pretty sensible. Like, if we were going to clear Nalvis the first time that we were on Nalvis, kind of thing... Um, the war with the Biters would just be endless, almost. Uh-oh. Strip planet of resources, pollute the planet, and move on. Oh no. We've got everything we need, technically, on Hagen. Uh, it would just be a bit rough with, like, power supply and stuff. Daka, daka, daka. Alright, let's get these two... Nests over here. I don't want to use poison capsules when there's trees around. It's not the trees' fault. Oh, 
I would say it's not the biter's fault, but we're not polluting this area, so it kind of is. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Um... I'm not out of fuel, you're out of fuel. Tell those few trees they'll die here. <laughs> oh no, you're never gonna let me live that down, are you? <laughs> One job, right? It's fine, we've got plenty of fuel right here. It just hasn't been turned into the proper type yet. I'm actually a bit surprised, considering I had the bots delivering 1,000 fuel. Do I not have it in the robot network? That might be why. I'm scared to look, but I don't want to waste bots just having them hover here. I'm gonna look. Um, fuel? Yeah, there's no processed fuel in the robot network. I should have them bring me rocket fuel anyway, it's the same amount of megajoules per stack. Uh, but it's fewer trips for the bots to deliver it. Alright. This is taking longer than I thought it would. So we got like... This nest here... That's actually raw rare metals. This nest here... That's not a whole lot. We can do all of this on a stack or two before we get back. And I'm... Leaving an item on the ground, that's not what I want to do. Give it back. Dear trees, I spared your lives and haven't used poison. Would some of you die now so you can turn into fuel so that I can get home? I didn't use the trees, I used the biomass. Or the biomatter. Not a single tree was directly killed by me this hour. Not even once. I am the Lorax. Directly. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Oh, there's little guys next to me. I could only see them from the, uh, the bullets hitting them. They're actually surprisingly dangerous. The tiny little spawns that come from the, uh, purple biters. You know what they say, the trees can't be harmed if the Lorax is armed. Oh, we got yellows joining in. Alright, how's our wall looking? Pretty good, actually. Fantastic. Is this the last of the purples for now? I hope so. The fast fighters are not bad at attacking the base either, but I don't think they're as likely to help break the back of the walls as the regenerative fighters slowly roll in. All purples eliminated, as far as I know, up to a point.
competitive Factorio would be terrifying. Yeah, I'm really surprised how strong the Defender capsules still are. Are we actually going to get artillery before I have to go into space to fix it? That would be pretty cool. How's my fuel? 22, that's bad. I guess I just commit to clearing this base so that we can refuel. the bots to move in weird curvy circle things and mostly can't be hit. Reinforcements have arrived. this way. Getting very close to the point I have to do the rest of it on foot. I think we got there. Yeah, it is done. Is it fuel processor? I'm sure the biders won't mind if I burn their uh, biomatter to make my fuel right in front of them. They're an understanding bunch. more of them are coming. Oh, I think they're gonna keep coming until I fly out of here. How much fuel have I got now? Almost a stack. This is fine. Give to me all of the Zerg creep. How are they hurting the fish? How dare you. Alright, can I get out of here without making more bots? Oh no. Here we go. 167 processed fuel, that should be enough. Let's just not bump into the biters on our way back. Seems good. That's a weird bit of world gen. You can see where it did a curve and then did something on top of it. Where are we? Coming up on the south wall. And... safe. Question mark. Oh, I can repair this now. I keep forgetting to do that. Calculated. Alright, let's uh, finish up here for today, and we'll find someone to raid.
we've got a few options today. Cities of Earth. I'm not seeing anything like SE and or K2. Oh, Andy. Andy's going. Andy is doing exactly SE K2. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, I see what you did there, Veldek. I see what you did there. Sneaky. Uh, what's this, Vlad? GitHub? Rampant? Oh, I see. Okay. Check that out. All right. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Uh, I'd better go put those that blueprint book on Factorio prints after this. Evil Plot, thanks for hanging out. Take care. I found what a worker is. Oh, what is a worker, exactly? It is a size. Oh, okay. So it's like a regular biter. All right, let's drop in our lava, pape, worker, grunt, soldier, elite, champion, overlord, titan, leviathan. Fantastic. All right, let's drop in on Andy. I think he's the only one doing SEK2 or even either of those right now, as far as I could see. Data Gnome, thanks for hanging out. And away we go. Holy shit, dude.